You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. You alone. I will not leave you alone. You will not leave me alone. No! Mm. <laughs> if you like, keep ranting because that's the only thing you know how to do. Okay, Chi. Mm. That's okay, Chi. I don't have time for your drama this afternoon. Oh, yeah, you don't have time for Please my drama. Leave me alone. I should leave you alone. The same way I was in the mood when you exhibited your madness the other day. <gasps> what did I tell you? That if I catch you, I will deal with you. <laughs> Thank God there's nobody around now to separate us. It is me and you. Only get your your hands off me. What's your problem? Do I look like someone who is dragging anything with you? Huh? <laughs> is it my fault? Hey, hey, hey. I will do it. Is it my fault that you cannot service your boyfriend and your life? I am only respecting you. Is it my fault? I am only respecting you. 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 Please, stop, stop. Don't do this. Ah, you, you, you big girls. You don't need to be fighting on the road. Don't disappoint us. No, you don't. Don't mind this girl. Stop, stop. Please, please. You don't need to be fighting on the road now. It's not right. Let me tell you something. Hmm? I am not the type of girl that fights over a man mm. at all. Oh. I only confronted you last time because of the lies you told about me. Oh, yes. That's what pain you are being. It's okay. It's so stop Ask this. Me. Stop this. It's Is okay. It's my fault that you don't know how to service your man. You're very stupid. You are very stupid. You're very mad. You're very mad. What's your problem? Okay. You okay. are my don't problem. Start. Don't start. You are my problem. Hey, woman. I'm going to kill you. Hey, hey. My bad. My bad. Bring my bad. This is how they behave here. Eh? Hey. Hey. hey! What will you do now? Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to go with him now, Abby? Next time you come and tell me I took your man from you. Idiot! Let me just catch you again, stupid girl. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The money I have with me hey. is in that bag. All my documents, everything, everything is in that bag. I'm hey. sorry, eh? I'm you sorry. guys go see it. Hey. Why should you be fighting on the road, eh? That's stupid girl now. Eh? Eh? Oh. Look at what she did. Hey. Eh? Oh, I'll come now? back for you. Now? What will I do now? now we, let's, let's see if we can find them. Oh. How? How? Do I know them? Hey. Eh? Hey. Let's let's just try, eh? Let's go and try. Why must you do that? Rubbish. Why must you do that? Rubbish. Let me see you enter. How much do you have, sir? How much do you have? 
Why? How much do you want to collect? I want to collect the money. Yes, I will collect the money. I don't want to collect the money. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Rubbish. Look at her. Why you not use it yet? I will use it. Use it. I will use it. Use it now. No problem. No sense. Look at this man. Look at this madman. Excuse me, let me use baby. Let me let me withdraw money. You don't have money. How much do you have? You don't have money. How much do you have? You don't have don't money. Don't worry, I'll find my card. You'll yeah. see how much I will draw. You look at you. You will see how much I will look draw. Okay, you 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 that have money. You draw, let look me see. Look at your suit. Look at your suit. Look at your suit. Look at your suit. Hey, so I'm really for me. You know how I, much it I is. I pity the husband that will marry you. Eh? Who do it so that will be married? Yeah, you are mad. You are crazy, you are not a I will be here and watch you and collect the money. Collect money, let me see. Foolish, After now, after now, one man will come and marry one trouble. Trouble and put and put in his house. Trouble. All this drama for the security just called me that you're here insisting to see me. I was the one that asked them to tell you to wait outside. Eh? I, I didn't fight them, they wouldn't just allow me in. So I asked them to call you. After all, I did not fight them. You can ask them. Okay, it's fine. There's no need for that. I'm here now. What is it? You know you don't work here anymore. No, I know. I know. I know, but you said you're going to send some money to my account. Up to now, I've not seen anything. Yes. That's because we discovered that you've not settled the loan given to you by the management. So we had to use your money to settle it. Uh -uh. How can you use all my money to settle the management? What I have left to pay back is 15,000 Naira. I'm supposed to be getting 25,000 Naira as my own money. How can you use my, all my money to, to, to settle the, 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 the management? Oga, the money you stole from the management. We've used the rest of your money. In fact, I'm the one that even helped you out to add 5,000 Naira extra to make up the money. So you are supposed to appreciate me for that. Excuse me, is it because I didn't succumb to your terms? That's why you framed me up. Why are you doing this? What will you gain? Don't put that on Please just get out of this place before I ask the security to chase you out. Sorry, sir. I'm so sorry for disturbing you. Yeah. Morning. What is it? Um, um, sir, I, I'm, I'm traveling and I don't uh, have enough money with me. I don't know if you can assist me. Nico. Uh, how much are you looking at? Sir, I don't know. I, I, I need like 10,000 Naira, but I have like 4,000 Naira with me here. Yes. And that means you need 6,000. Uh, yes, yes, sir. This 20,000, I think it will go a long way. Of course, sir, it's enough. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Thank you all. Sir, you will never die. You never see no sickness. Thank you. Hey, thank you, sir. Eh? So, you are begging. So, no, 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 you came to this city to beg and you have the guts to talk to me. Do you think I have your time? Eh? Yeah. Do you think I have your time? Eh? Yeah. Auntie, you're your. Mommy, what? And then again. You think I have your time? I don't even have your time. They, they, those are your mates giving people money. And you're there talking. How much have you made? Have you made up to 10,000? Don't worry. I have 100,000. I don't need your money. You're your go. I don't need your money. I don't need it. You money. see, you see your mentality. Don't you don't have money. Yes. So you have the ghost to talk to me. You cannot have future. You? you won't have future. Take your money and go. I don't need it. You don't have 
have a future. You, Look at you. Oh, you think the whole world is enough for you now because you have this thing, this simple matches that you're carrying about. Hey, you have I have a is this thing, but you, you have, have like this best. Like, yeah. you're using your leg to work out. Uh, like uh, like this best is the best. <laughs> when you do like this best, you won't have, you have, you have prostrates. That's why you keep begging to you die. Oh you no shit. See, come now. Come now. Come now, let me give you money. As a man. Look at you, mommy, what I'm going to do. Then you are not. Then you are not. See, beggar. On your what? 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 You guys insulted me. You have insulted my feet. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to hustle in the city. I'm not going back again. Oh. I'm not going back again, again to that village. I'll stay in this city and hustle and make it. How is your health? I'm happy that you're better now. You're stronger now, eh? Thank God. Come, 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 come. No! Are you not this guy? No! Hey! Yes, me. Listen, I saw you run past my house. Then I decided to follow to know what is going on. Yeah, I saw the guy who stole my bag. So immediately he saw me, he took off. But that should be expected. Besides, have you reported it to the police? There's no need going to the police. This guy is from this street. So I can spot him at any time. I mean, I've, I've seen him now. That's the whole essence of reporting to the police. You just do your part and leave the rest. When they catch him, you know, they will definitely call you. Report it to the police. Go home, relax yourself, and just watch. Hope that they will be caught. Did you say go home? Of course, that's <laughs> what you should do. <laughs> anyway, go home is for those who have a home to go to, not for a homeless person like me. You... You must have gone through so much. I mean, you don't have a house. 
So that was the whole story. I was innocently accused and got fired from my working place for nothing. You know, my landlord also threw my things away, took some of my properties to court just because I couldn't meet up with the put notice brought to me by the lawyer. Why is it that some people do not fear God? I mean, we have just one person who created the heavens and the earth. <laughs> and your so-called landlord is living rent-free on this earth. That building, he built it on somebody's land and that person is God. So what has God charged him? We won't blame him. He used his money to build the house. So what? So what is what is why what is wrong with him? Why is he that heartless? Eh? Come on. Does he think you have the money and you refuse to pay him? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> and that's other one, the hotel manager. I mean. What was the reason she set you up? Why? Yeah. You know, she did that because I couldn't just succumb to her request. What request was that? You know, wanting me to sleep with her and start having an affair with her. So I refused and oh. she set me up. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. She just had to set me up because I told her that she is not the one who employed me directly. That it was the MD who employed me. Why didn't you report her to the MD? Report who to the MD? How can you report somebody's girlfriend to that person? Oh, now on he will. He will always side her, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But what will you do now? Because as it stands, you have no place to stay. And you just told me you don't want to go back to the village. <sighs> so how are you going to survive? I don't even know what to do now. I, I wanted to ask if you can help me plead with your brother. Just I believe that you stay here with your brother. Help me plead with your brother if I can stay here for some time till I raise money to get my own apartment, then I'll move. Oh, about that. You can stay. You don't need his permission. Why? Is he going to allow that? Um, well, it is considering the fact that I stay here alone. Yes, I live here alone. Don't get it wrong. I only told you about my brother because uh, I know you will refuse to come here with me if I told you I lived alone. Considering how ladies have been mean and wicked to you, or towards you rather. So, I had to tell you that little story, so you come with me. But, trust me, <laughs> no hidden tricks, you can stay. At least, till you find something and get your own place. <sighs> wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Really, you have a nice place here. <laughs> I get by. Let me but, get you but, water. But, but, but truthfully, <laughs> you stay here. Right?
Good day, ma. Yeah, Bros, good day. Who are you? My name is Hope. Okay. Actually, I'm here to look for a job. Any kind of job, I can do it. Does here look like an office where you look for a job? I know it's not an office. I know it's a residence home. Okay, but I, I, at least any kind of job, if you can help me with, I will do it. Okay, there's no job. I can do anything. There's no job. How can you come to someone's house for looking for a job? It's okay, sir. You know what? Just come back here tomorrow morning. I think my dad has a job for you. What was that for? What's with the bag? <sighs> Come on, Faith. Does this bag look like a stolen bag to you? Did I say anything like stolen or steal or something? I don't understand. I only asked you what's with the bag. Babe, I can't come into your house with a stolen bag now. You know hard now. Trust me. You're just a typical Nigerian. I asked you what's with the bag. And you're talking about stolen, you're talking about stealing, you're talking about steal. Anyway. No, leave that one. Hope you no plan come cack from my house. Shall I'm not gonna stay your place. Uh -huh. I'll look in to drop this bag with you. Maybe later I'll come and pick it up. What's in there inside? Nothing. I just normal meal clothes. You know, your guy don't do into business now. Nice one, so if you check them out. Too. For real? Yes, now. You know they sell meal things like this, so. Anyway, I don't start with that. Gradually now, I'll get my own food. See, and you really patronize me. Nothing for you, Sha. <laughs> At least <laughs> you're no longer frolicking with those area boys in the street. You calm down now. Let you calm down now. I'm not calm like this. Uh, we don't start to say that. <laughs> yes, what so. an expansion of the entire will be. Amen. I'm happy for you. Eh? <laughs> so make you spread the good news. Oh. No wahala, no wahala. Mm -hmm. mm? No worry, I will keep up for you. Then, yeah? Later, I will come back. Come. Yeah, we'll come yeah? Yeah. All right. I really appreciate it. Okay, now, later. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just doing something. No, doctor, you should have asked that young man to come to see me. How would he feel now if I tell him that we don't need a house help? Daddy. You were the one who asked me to look for a house here. Someone that will be doing the cooking and cleaning the house. Now, Kevin is out of town. I'm the only one in this house. <laughs> you know me, I don't have power to clean and cook. This house is too big for me. Well, I didn't say you don't need a house help. But you just said that now. You said you don't need one. Yes. We don't need a male house help. Oh, now I get it. You prefer a female house help? Yes. Mm. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I know why you changed your mind, Dad. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. You are protecting your girl. Well, uh, that's correct. <laughs> Because yeah. of what Lucas did to Sandra. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. I mean, I wouldn't be happy, you know, if my pretty daughter is all alone in the house with uh, some stranger as a house uh, housekeeper. That, I mean, that would be acceptable to me. Well, you know the story of Lucas very well. 
you know. Um, that book has, I never liked him from, from the onset. In fact, I had to stomach all the things I saw so as not to offend your mom. In fact, at the point she was even thinking that something was going on between us. But I'm happy that at the end of the day, I was vindicated. Yes, definitely. That's daddy. Having a faithful male house is better than having the best female house. Trust me. I know. You are right. But at the same time, we are going to be very careful so as not to make the same mistake twice. Eh? No problem, Dad. But please. Ah, ah. Hey. You don't try. <laughs> Daddy, please. Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, Alan, now. The good tell person say today. Say God is God. No while. <laughs> Who can take? Who can take the bag when we drop there? Who can take that? Uchi. Are you on cheap drugs? Have you gone bonkers? Which one of them? Oh, they ask me. Come on, say something serious, John. Ebi, Ebi, they ask me. See, Ebi, I'm going to tell you, say God be God. God is God, I'll tell you. See, Ebi, watch my face, look my face. I know the, I know the joke. I know the joke. And they tell you, say, well, I'll, the bad girl lost it, they tell me all this kind of thing. What did that one for me? Which is like you've lost your mind. Are you sick upstairs? Eh? You call me here to tell me stories. Look for that one. Ebi, Ebi. They ask me whether I see out there, right? So she said that can you can you see? Which can talk with that one? Tell me, let me tell you. Eh? You see that bag? If no be me, take him. Now you take him. Because no me, me and you know say that bag they there. If no be me, take him, now you take him. And you see that bag. You just shut up while I talk. Maybe I go find that bag. You just tell me now. Now what did that come from? That one come mean. You don't forget to say God, God. You called me. Maybe you told me that the young man saw. And then you ran here and went after you. So what are you telling me? You should know where the bag is. Baby, you got me here to tell me stories. Are you mad? Now that was not your business. That was not your business, I tell you. You see? You don't need to take Now you take her. And you see that bag? Oh, oh, Baby, Baby, I'm going to find that bag. You don't forget. You don't forget, Baby. So you don't forget. No, Allah. No problem. I can tell you, say, God is God. And they not be me. Not be me. Come on. the only person that saw me coming to Faith's house with a bag. If anybody there ask you if you saw me with any bag, tell the person no. Not even my friend Uche. Are you listening to me? I hope there is no problem. There is no problem. Just do as I say. And I strongly believe I can count on you with this secret. I bet you go save me. Is that all? That's all. No fall my hand though. Did they hear me? All right, I've heard you. Can I go now? You can go. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Hi. How did it go? <sighs> Actually, it went well. The only one I saw is house cleaner. Uh -huh. Yeah. The girl I spoke with said I should come back this evening or tomorrow morning. But why the job of a house cleaner? Can't you look for another job? I have no option for now. 
the only problem I'm having now is how to get my credentials. Yeah, I understand. But well, that would be difficult because those guys who, who stole that stuff from you may not even know it's important and they'll just dispose of it. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's okay. Just relax. Let me get you something to eat, okay? Okay. So I'll just paint something in the microwave. Fate? Yeah. Who wants this guy? Oh, it belongs to a friend of mine. A, a friend of yours? Yes, yes, a friend of mine. turning around as if someone is after you. Faith, there's nobody that is after me. Please, that bag that I gave you to keep for me, I have come for the bag. Please, go inside and get me the bag right now. I have customers that are waiting on me now. I need to show them those clothes. Please. A.B., why are you acting like you stole the bag? Did you steal the hey, bag? Hey, hey, please. I don't want you and I to banter with us right now. Go in there and get me my bag. I'm not here for questions. I already told you I'm into men's ways. So why all these questions? Okay, oh. don't insult me. Let me go and get your bag. Uh -huh. Now, now you did talk. Don't know this man. <laughs> Becomes the tale in our balance. Ah. Oh, what are you doing searching someone's bag? This is not someone's bag. This is my bag. How do you mean? This is my bag that I told you that was stolen. That I have my clothes and my credentials inside. that gave me this bag outside. S sincerely, I had no idea. I heard everything you guys said down there. That guy out there was one of the guys that stole this bag. This bag will never change. He can never change. If that guy do not provide my credentials, Eh? I am going to have it hot with him. You went in to get my bag. So where is my bag? Uh, it's with the owner. It's a joke, just stop it. I'm not here to crack jokes with you. And I don't want to get angry with you. Go in there and get my bag. If I just told you it is with the owner, the original one had that. Besides, do I look like I'm joking? Am I a comedian? Where did you keep them? It was Uche that, that removed it from the bag. He huh? threw, he threw them away. I need them now before I get you arrested. Oh, please don't arrest me, please. What? You mean you threw someone's credentials at the back of a shade? 
It's <laughs> my idea. It was, it was okay. He said the credentials will not be useful to us, so he just threw them. He, he threw them away. You, Ebi, that is even a graduate. Ah! 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 I just come down and hump myself because of this people. Eh? I'm not supposed to hold you anywhere. Sure. You're not going to do one to Jared. You're not going to do one. You're not going to do one. Oh, leave me alone. I've heard what you said. But I'm sorry I cannot hire you. Oh, sir. Sir, please. Sir. I won't disappoint you. I know how to do house chores very well. I was a supervisor in the former place I was working. Trust me. Listen, your, your qualifications are too high for this job. Pin. How can I employ a, a graduate to do uh, household chores? It doesn't seem right to me. Sir, I need this job. I need it. Instead of me to stay idle at home doing nothing, it's better for me to do this one till I get a better job to do. Please. Dad, he really wants to work. Don't deny him this opportunity. Yes, okay. But you have to bring somebody that will stand in as a guarantor for you. Okay. That is the procedure. I am home today. I won't be going to work. If you can come before 5, that will be fine because from 6 I'll be, I have an engagement. Okay, so I will do that. Okay. Let's let it be like that, okay? Mm -hmm. What of your parents? What of your father? Okay, my mother is in the village. Uh, my father, I don't have any clue of him. So, you grew up in a house without a father? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, my mother said my father left us when I was two. Until now, she doesn't know his whereabouts. Well, it's okay. I asked because uh, you demanded me of somebody I knew. I'll see you again. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Um, you made me got the job. <laughs> and you have to hurry so that you can get your guarantee. So you start immediately. Okay, ma. I, I believe my cousin can stand in for me. 
Mm, please, no, don't call me ma. You are old enough to be my elder brother. So why are you calling me ma? My name is Peace. You can address me as Peace. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. I will take my leave now. Okay, let me see you. Look, Kevin. You need to talk to your girl. Yes, Doris. She has to mind the way she talks to people, irrespective of the position. It's not nice. Is it because she's in a higher position? The way you treat people has a way of coming back to you, be it negative or positive. See, I would not want people to start addressing my brother's fiancé as an insolent person who do not have regard for people. I wouldn't want that. I am talking about how she treated Clifford today. Do you know Doris had the guts to raise her hands on Clifford? I was there. I witnessed it. Not as if he did anything wrong. He did not do anything wrong. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, you can, you can tell her. Tell her that I reported her to you. Yes. No problem. I really do want to express my gratitude towards you. I mean, you barely know me, but you've done a lot for me. Well, my heart accepted you, and that's it. I just feel you're a good person who deserves to be assisted. And that's what I did. Though, what I'm doing for you today might not pay me back immediately. But I know that someday my goodwill will definitely pay. <laughs> so I'm paying you forward with you, of course. Thank you so much once again, and uh, you're such a wonderful person. I mean, you stood in for me as a granddaughter. It's nothing. <laughs> it's okay. Um. Listen, I just want you to focus, okay? And just remember you have bigger plans ahead. Yeah, definitely, I do. I know that. I, I have talked to my boss. I told him while working as a cleaner that I was still looking out for a better opportunity. And he agreed to that. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's so kind of him. He's truly, truly a kind person. Yeah. You know, when I met him, I just love his personality. He's, he's a kind person. You're right. <laughs> lucky me. Yes, lucky you. <laughs> and I pray to God that while you're working there you don't have any problems with anyone that everything will just work out smoothly yeah. and your job just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes yeah it's real it's real <laughs> thank you so much once again well i'm truly 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 happy for you <laughs> you're welcome ah what a day thank you so much you're welcome <laughs> I mean, imagine the letdown. Uh, uh, no, can you just imagine in front of a gate man? Can you imagine? Babes, it's just because she's my fiance's uh, sister. If not, eh, I for beat her. I for sure, You know me now. Wait. Huh. Did you call Kevin to tell him about this? I didn't have to call him. He was the one that called me. He was the one that called me and told me about everything. Yes. So huh. what did he say when you called him? <laughs> well, she literally. I told him how she intimidated me right in front of the gate man. You trust me now. And you know how Kevin can be. Kevin was so hot. He wanted to give her hot hot, but Namija just come calm down. Make it not be like some Namika's problem between brother and sister. 
You understand? Babe, get into the car, babe. Oh, babe, see, eh, you need to apply wisdom to this, oh, because eh, I feel like say, that your, your dad girl, Sabi, Sabi, Pan. Auntie, enter Karen, the phone. Uh -uh. What's up with this? Try it up. Who did that? Who did not? Ah ah! Sandra! Ah 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 ah! Now wow, Sandra! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's not spread this your fire color. Go, 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 go! Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. No, no, no. No, sit down, no. Let me not say I keep pregnant woman standing. Sit down, I beg, I beg. No worry. Eh? I don't do sit down. Okay, okay. Eh, Hi. Who oh, thank God do? I'll walk. Who oh, thank God walk fine. Who <laughs> they try? Eh? Who <laughs> they try? Hey, Sandra, Sandra. Eh? Hi, my God, good do. I can see that the uh, the Pekin way waiting for your belly is really <laughs> growing very <laughs> fast. <laughs> thank God do. Oh, Who thank God do? Eh, Oga hey. Kelvin, their house. Oga Kelvin. Eh. Hey, you know they. Uh, in travel, in travel a few days ago. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, when is he coming back? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You know, God, Kevin, I they behave now. He know they like to anybody movement at all. He could just come out and jam. Oga, where did they go? He don't go, he won't talk to you. Yes, I know, I know. Wait, Sandra, I hope probably no deal. Uh. No, no, no. I came to see for urgent something. Yes. Uh, 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 call him now. Why do you call him? I don't call him. No pick. <laughs> but I need a phone loss. Okay. Why not send message? Hey, Test message if you see that one. Yeah. Hey, Test message go good. Okay, I'll go do that one when I reach out. Eh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How is this? Should they inside? Peace, no, now. Nah. Peace, peace to no day. He come out. You know, I tell you, they do now. Just, if I say, just wake up one morning and decide to. Hey, nah, come okay, out. my regards to her when she comes back. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, Sandra. <laughs> no, I'm back, okay. You know, this is how some boys will die. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back. Sandra, Sandra. Wait, <laughs> Bye bye, you. Bye bye, bye, -bye Sandra. Hi. <laughs> you know, say if woman never carry belly, she no go ever agree. Say she 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 she, she they do. Hi. So we did this house together. We no no say Lucas and Sandra. They busy. They act the lemondo for us. I thank God for Belé. Now Belé the only disgrace there. <laughs> ah, eh? If woman never carry Belé, she no go ever agree for this life. Say she did do.
I'm fine now. Where are you coming from? I stopped by to check on you people. I was told no one was around. Oh yeah, that's true. I just stepped out to get something. And you know, of course, that would be in the office by now. It's fine. Nice look at it's fine now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just come. Come, let me, let's go back home so I can give you something to eat. Uh -uh. <laughs> and I'm born, baby. You can't just come and go like that. The sun is too much. Thank you. The sun is too much. I even told him <laughs> Comes the tale in our balance. Hey, we live in the world where the tail becomes the head. Life in no balance, yo. We are the good ones, our prayers too. And the bad ones appear to be blessed, oh. Life in no balance, yo. In no balance. But one day now, one day This life must balance you One day now, one day hey. You're welcome <laughs> Thank you 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 Thank you. You're ready. Yes, I am. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Um, Hope meets Sandra. Sandra meets Hope. Hope Sandra was our former cook and cleaner. Oh, really? Sandra, you're welcome. Thank you. Nice meeting you. A pleasure. You're doing a great job. <laughs> it's our work now, so what can we do? <laughs> okay, let me rush out to get some things out there. Okay, no problem. ready. Yeah, yeah. So tell me how is Luca? He's fine, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to eat. Though he made semu, but I know you don't like semu. So you still like that your favorite food, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. So we're going to wait for him once he's back. He's going to make it for you. Thank you. Let me get something to drink. What are you going to drink? Anything, I'm okay. Anything. Anything. I know your brown <laughs> I know your brown <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We live in a world where the head becomes the tail in our balance. Hey. We live in the world where the tail. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you expecting someone? No, just... Um, no, I was just surprised who could open the door like that, like an insider. It's me. I'm an insider. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Welcome. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Kelvin asked me to come confirm something in his room, so I hope you don't mind. Yes, he told me. No, okay. All right. Um, Doris. Yeah? Um, please, I, I'm really sorry about the way I spoke to you yesterday. <sighs> Uh, please forgive me. Please. Come on. I wouldn't hold your resentment to my heart for that long. You're a sister-in-law to me, so it's fine. We're family. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Alright? Yeah. Can I go? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Well, one day I want day. This life must balance you. One day now, one day, I got money wounded. I did it. I don't think they do. Oh, you have to get to my job now for me. I just have a lot. I do. Welcome. Yes. I do. I do. I do.
Oh. Oh. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Sorry, I had to send you outside. The network was very bad, so I couldn't recharge online. No, it's okay, I understand. I'm not complaining. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I hope there's no problem. Uh, no, there's no problem. But as I was coming in, I saw a car parked out there. So I thought you had a visitor. But coming in here, I see nobody. Oh, you're talking about um, Doris. She's my friend. Oh, okay. Nelson's daughter that I know cannot comprehend this nonsense. Ah. Yes. Okay, so who am I? Said that. You want me? to lie? Said that to you. You, are a... uh, uh, you know what? When is your friend? Because I am tired of her insults. I cannot chew and swallow her insults again. She started insulting me from the first first day I met her, and today enough is enough. You I will not take it from you. You are a pathological liar. You are a liar. You are a liar from the pit you of hell. You know what you are? You are a big fool. You are a liar, me? demon, demonic. You are, you are, you are a bunch of liars. Please, punch, please, 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 ah. please, can we just sit down and settle this? No, 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 this, this lady, I cannot, I cannot take this insult from her again. Will you shut up your mouth? See, I will get rid of you. See how you're you. posing with another man's property, another man's house. Another oh. person's house, oh, you're, you're bragging with, the, with another Look person's house. Look common, common, common thief. You are a common thief. Oh no, she keep, oh no, she keep. See, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Eh? I, I am going to get rid of you. Mm. Yes, I will make sure you go back to village where you belong. Go Please. and do your worst, I am waiting for you. Look at this idiot. Look at this big fool. Please, can you people just calm down? Can you uh, just touch calm me again, down? I'll use straw on you, on your head. You heard the sound, and I'll suck it. Oh! You are, I'll, you are I'll idiot. Fool. Look at you, look at your eyes. Oh, okay, get out! Hello, babe. Honestly, I do not understand your newly employed housekeeper. It's not something I can speak on the phone. When you are back from your trip, we're going to talk about it. Alright. <laughs> Hello? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right there. I, I don't understand. What is wrong with you? Is it because I told you about the pregnancy? And I, 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 I let you in on the plans? That's why you're demanding for money anyhow? You know, you're, I am now regretting why I told you about this pregnancy. And why I let you in on this plan. No problem, just tell me where you are and I'll come to you. Now, hey, 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 listen, listen up, listen up. Let this be the last time, I mean the very last time, you ask me for this again. Don't try it again.
this boy is playing with me. <laughs> He's trying to rip me off. We shall see about that. This whole thing is becoming unbearable. I don't even know why she's fighting me. Is it that I'm tormenting her in her dreams or what? I don't just get it. You don't need to explain to me. I already know who Doris is. Sometimes she can be so overbearing. I am sure she must have driven you to a point where you could not take it anymore. That's why you have to talk to her like that. Your brother is really trying. Coping with her exercise. Well, they've known themselves since secondary school days, but I'm still surprised. Doris was never like this. She was a sweet girl, so nice. I feel maybe her university classmates influenced her. She doesn't just know what she's doing to herself. I think your brother needs to talk to her to change from her. All those are nonsense, stupid characters. <laughs> you don't know Doris. That's if she will listen. Please, let's just forget about it. Please, just be with her. Oh. Just be with us. <laughs> so you see what her now? It's fine. How have you been? How are you work going? <laughs> <laughs> This is the money. Wow. <laughs> now listen to me. Let this be the very last time you ask me of money again. Doris, you are supposed to calm down. You are supposed to be polite, knowing fully well that I have our secrets. They calm down. Doris. Doris. No shaking, sir. If you give me attitude, no shaking. But all I know, you don't turn my ATM. I will chop you. I will use you to make money. You give me attitude. I will resume. you. <laughs> Listen, girl. If you ask me, I will tell you not to worry yourself at all. I mean, that guy is a nobody. Baby, you needed to have been there. If you see the insult this guy gave to me, saying that I will never see a man that will marry me, can you imagine? Uh -uh. Why would he say such a thing to you? Is it your God? <coughs> hey. Oh, that's his plan for you not to get married, that right? That is it! That is exactly what he wants. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. From the very day I saw him, I set my eyes on him. I knew that this guy was a devil sent. In fact, the devil sent him from the pits of hell. Oh, and you know what? I am going to do something that he will go back and tell the devil that, oh my God, this girl is not what we think she is. Oh yes. Oh, but, Doris. but not to worry, babe. Don't worry. Don't worry. The insult this guy gave to me, that was why I came to your house. So I can cool off. Because I was, babe, I won't lie to you, I was depressed. I was down! Ah, how could you say such to you? But what are you going to do now? Eh? What are you going to do? You know he now works with your boyfriend and he visits there regularly. How are you going to avoid him? <laughs> what? I know that look. Babe, you know me now. <laughs> you know me. Hmm. You know what I can do? You know me now. Oh, babes, you know me now. I will sort it out. Make we go where we do go. Calm down. Just calm down. 
come down. Okay. How do I look? <laughs> Take away. <laughs> Thank you. I think I, you should uh, call her and find out why it has really important for you to do something. Yeah, I'll do just that immediately. Yeah. yeah. But Daddy, yes. don't you think you need a driver to ease your stress? <laughs> you, you, you know that I like driving myself. Hmm? I like driving my driving is my hobby. Eh? No, Daddy, but I'm just concerned. Don't worry, don't worry. Just don't be concerned, eh? Don't be worried about my <laughs> Your state. dress is fine, Dad. Good. It's fine. Very good. Don't worry, I think uh, it's idleness. By the time the good news of your study abroad comes out, you'll forget about what that happened. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Very good. Thank so, you. So uh, everything is in the car? Yes, you're so right. Let me go. Okay. I'll see you later. Take care. Have a nice day. Take care of the house. Right? Love you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. You're dressy. Mm -hmm. ah. oh, that's true. I need to go mm -hmm. and search for me. Antonia, it has been my dream to school abroad. So when my daddy said it, I was so happy. <laughs> well, my dear, I see no reason why you should be so eager to study abroad. You have the certificate you need. I mean, what do you need others plenty certificates for? Are you the one saying this? No knowledge is wasted. I know, my dear. Just that I feel it's a waste of money going abroad to study again when you can use the certificate you have here. Get a good job, or even better still join your dad and his friend. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. There is nothing like a waste of money. <laughs> when money is being channeled to the right sources, it is not a waste. I'm a robber, my dad is not complaining. What is it? It's just a one year course now. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. Maybe I was just looking at it from my own angle. You know, I don't have a dad and it's just my mom shouldering my expenses. And I think it's time to pay her back. It's just left for me to get a good job with a good salary pay and then I'll support her. The woman will be super proud of you. Because at least her money was not a waste. Oh. And don't worry, you will get a job. Amen. And get a good job. Mm, yes. <laughs> I think you'll get a good job. Amen. I'm, I'm actually rushing to somewhere. I'm actually daughter. looking for number 19 Gozier Street. Number 19 Gozier Street? Yes. I'm also looking for the same address. Ah. Uh -uh. Yes. Sister! Sister, oh. come. Please go. Please, do you stay around here? Yeah, I stay around. Uh, we are looking for number 19 Gozier Street. Yeah, this is the street. Uh, 19, number 19. Yeah, this is the house. Uh, oh. Okay, please, can you... She lives here, but I'm sure she's not around. Thank you, my daughter. I will still call her to see if she will pick her up. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much. God bless you. Whom do you want to see? I'm, I'm here to see Hope. Okay. I came to see Faith. Faith? Yeah. Okay. Um, Faith is um, Hope's sister. You have been here before? 
No, this is my first time. And you know her in person? Yes. Um, have you tried calling her line? I've been calling her and she refused to pick her calls. Same here, I've been calling her. She has not been picking. It's alright. I think uh, you still have to call him or you give me a test message. For me, I'll be going. I'll come later. Okay, sir. No problem, sir. I already have your number from the year. No problem. Thank you. Okay, thank right. you, sir. Not your peace, yes. Mr. Nelson's daughter, Hope's yes. boss. <laughs> oh, right. sorry, oh, please let's go inside. Oh, no, 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 I'm actually in a hurry. Ah. I've been here for the past one hour. I actually came oh. here with a man that was looking for you. Looking for me? Yes. But I don't keep any friends around this area, so I wonder who could be looking for me. Did he tell you his name? No. But can you perhaps describe how he looks? Well, he's an advanced man, old enough to be my father. Well, I'm sure if he had something reasonable to see me about, he will come back. Yeah. Surprised to see you here, like, <laughs> all is well. Yes, all, yes, all is well partially. I'm here to see who, I'm looking for who. Well, he left to work early this morning. He didn't come to work. In short, my father asked after him. That's why I'm here. Because he was supposed to pack into our house fully today. Do you mean he didn't come to work? Yeah, I, I, I know he was supposed to. Because he, he left early this morning with some of his clothes. And I, I, I just felt he was going to stay through the week. Then probably come back weekend. Though he didn't tell me that, but I just felt well, he didn't come to work. Are you sure he's still not angry about the fight he had with Doris? Maybe that's why he doesn't want to come. No, 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 not at all. But what is it? If he doesn't want to work, he would have told me. I'm sure he doesn't want to tell my father because my dad is the boss. But I'm his friend. He would have told me that he doesn't want to work again. I've been calling him and he's not taking my calls. He's not taking your calls? Yes. Sorry, one minute. What's it? He's not picking. Uh, he, he actually ran, but the call dropped. I told you, something is not right. Something is wrong. Hope does not behave like this. Okay. Uh, a strange man comes looking for me, and now Hope is not. I, I think so too. Doris, I hope what I am thinking is not true. Oh, are you sure? 
That man that came to see Fee does not have any information about Hope's disappearance. Ah, that's true. Maybe I should go. Hello, Fate. Fate. Please, have you gotten any information about Hope's disappearance? Not yet. Please, immediately you get any information, let me know. Thanks. Okay. Bye. I don't know why you guys brought me here. I don't know why you brought me here. I've told you if it, if it is plot that you want, take it for free. I'm not asking for anything. Don't give me any money. Just take it for free and allow me go. Come on, clear that. Don't let me anything you call him out. We are just a cup in any house. What's wrong with you? Are you mad? See, if I hear one more word from you now, is it because I'm not giving you cigarettes with you? Eh? Are you mad? I'm not mad, though. I'm not mad, but no verse. If you guys brought me here for ransom, it's going to be very hard, though, because you can't even get it from anyone. I'm telling you, for three days now, I've not even eaten. <laughs> Talk more of asking me for ransom. There's nothing to give you. I don't know shit shit you won't get from me. Because I don't have it. Now, Mr. Man, listen. When we want ransom to release you, you will know. So now, keep quiet and observe. One more word from you again. Bam. <clears throat> I saw you did. Can I can I have my phone, please? Which phone? If I get any any way from your mother, I will smash your phone for floor. You don't play for you. Smash and wear my Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let me get my mouth. You know, you know how sorry you are now. Nonsense. Come on, guys. Hello, Kevin. Yes. Doris has a hand in Hope's disappearance. I am very sure about what I'm talking about. See, you need to see the way she was talking to him the day they met. Ah, it was so hot. She was insulting him. I saw so much hatred in her voice. And now definitely she will lie about it. Are you expecting her to admit it? She's, she will lie about it. You said what? That Dory said I did not call her. Me, peace. I called Doris Severly and she refused to pick my call. I even had to text her. She did not even reply. And um, well, it's it's obvious now. She will not want to reply because she knows the game she's playing. That's it. Yes, I wouldn't have just started concluding. I did be she picked. At least I would have asked her first before coming to you. But she didn't pick, so that's why I had to tell you first. Yes. I am 100% sure that Doris, 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 your girl, has a hand in the disappearance of hope. Quote me anywhere. Mm. Okay. No problem. Clifford, what is it again? Please? It's me. Are you okay? Oh, Shani. It's... I thought it was Clifford. I know. Because you look pissed off. Is Clifford getting you upset? 
If it was Clifford, it would be better. Oh, oh, I see. It was Doris, your brother's girlfriend. Because the way I saw her drove past me at the gate, it just looked so, so abnormal. That girl said she's a Chris. She thinks I'm always she's a Chris. Imagine that girl had the guts to come into my father's house to go and warn me because I sent her a text message. Come on, text message. Why did she not pick a call? Because I called her separately and she refused to pick a call because she knows she has a hand in her disappearance. Oh, please. You shouldn't have said that to her so quick now. But why didn't she pick a call? Do you know if she was with her phone at the point? Oh, so where did she see the message from? TV. Oh, peace. I understand how you feel right now. But my point is that you shouldn't have sent that kind of test to her. You don't even know if she have an idea of what you're saying. Huh? You think so? Yes, I know so. And she's your friend. And as such, she's also your uh, brother's girlfriend. So please just take it into your car, can you? My friend, that her way of life is not nice. Calm mm. down, please. Stop her. She will definitely change, and I know she will. Who? Change? That proud girl. Will proudness allow her to change? Please, yeah, please. Please, please. Okay, please, my love. Calm down, I'm here. I am suspecting that something is definitely going on between them. I mean, the way she was supporting him, something is going on between them. What's it called, Simon? Eh, because the boy is a fine boy now. That one consigned them, I beg. But by the time we are, by the time I am done with them, eh? By the time I am done with him, he won't know what he. Come, come, um, Nkechi. The fact that we are friends doesn't make you a detective. Know your boundaries, eh? You hear? Just know your boundaries. I beg, I beg, I beg. I go, my friend, please. Hey guy, what's that do now? Why are you guys keeping me on hostage here? Yeah? Allow me go. Allow me go. You think so? After you've made yourself an enemy to someone. Who are we talking about here? Who be this one? Who are you to interrogate us? You can't mind. No, it's no verse. No beside to interrogate you. I'm so sorry. Uh, who are you now? Uh, am I stupid to interrogate you? Am I mad? It's not possible now. I'm, I'm only asking to know the person that said that I have offended him or her so I can apologize to the person. Mr. Man, hush! I said hush! Don't worry. The person that ordered us will get church mind. If not, we would have, we would have put marks on your body. What the, what the? We, would have, we would have removed everything on your, you know, Oh, your Osefa course, everything will be out by now. Clear and forward. You are here, capping bullshit to the cap fire. Funky. Thank God, though. You guys are so nice. Eh? Thank God you didn't beat me. Ha. Think food will give you since money. Eh? Don't go finish. You never want to chop. Well, that one I ain't concern you, Sha. Because, you know, you, you can't trust anyone these days. Don't even know if you people poison this food. You see? <laughs> What did he talk? Yeah. See this man? What did they talk? Poison. So the reason you have not touched your food is because you think there's a poison in it. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry. No, Chabi, there's a poison okay. in it. Sorry, sir. Sorry. No, no, let me have a test so that you will know I'm there's no poison. I'm sorry. Oh, you I'm think sorry. if we want to waste you? We need poison to do that. Eh? I'm sorry. If we want to waste you, is it not to eat this bottle and bust your head? Sorry, sorry, sir. Now wash your hand and join me. I can wash your hand. You, you stick them out. I hear from the man who came to look for me 
Which man? I was told a man came looking for me earlier today. Okay. And uh, he waited and waited. Then he had to leave because he couldn't wait anymore. And you have no knowledge of his ID? How will I know who he is when I don't have a picture of what he looks like? Whoever the person is that came to deliver that message, the person should come and give this true, true description of the person to you. Well, she actually did. Okay. But I still cannot place... Oh. I don't know. <sighs> come to think of it, what if Hope was okay. arrested by the police? I don't think it is the police because if it is, they would have called you before now to tell you that your boyfriend is in their custody. He is my friend and not my boyfriend. <laughs> I have told you that severally. Hey, calm down, babe. You the parallel. It's not what I actually meant, okay? It's okay. Uh, okay, your male friend and not the other it's way around. It's fine, it's okay. I'm just Sorry. I'm just worried. I'm just worried about him. I don't even know where I can go look for him. I don't. I, I don't even know much about him in the first place. So where would I go? What place can I search for this guy? And you said you don't have his mom's contact. No. Come on. I told you how I met Hope. I told you how, everything, including how, everything that led to me bringing him to my home. I'd like to say this guy gets some kind of enemies with a trailer mode. And he's not even aware. That could be true, but it doesn't stop me from worrying. Feel relax your mind. I think I know what to do at this point in time. Yeah, chill. Look, look at this whole hood. Now we get this area now. Eh? I am going to carry out an underground investigation. Find out who this man really, really is. Why he came to look for you and how he got to know your place. Good afternoon. Yes. How are you? Fine. Sophia, mm. welcome. You heard me. That man did not come for you. He came for hope. That I am certain about. I am sure of that one. Okay? But relax. I'll get back to you. Not me now. This area now my no worry. Thank I will you. see people. I will see men. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Chill out. Are you saying that hope did not come today at all? Yes, Dad. I tried calling him, his number was switched off. And but that don't worry, he'll come tomorrow. How do you know he's going to come tomorrow? You don't even establish contact with him. My instinct told me. But this is disrespectful. How could you take a day off without even, you know, bothering to tell me or even getting permission? And come to think that you just started a job not quite long ago. Daddy, let's not conclude yet. You don't know why he exempted himself from work. Maybe something came up. Let's wait till tomorrow, then we'll hear from him. Well, if he doesn't come tomorrow again, then he should bother not coming at all. He consider himself sad. Yeah. Let me go inside and freshen up. Succeed, succeed, achieve. 
Hello? Peace. Any news? Um, not yet. That was why I was even calling you to know if there's any news. No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm truly confused. I, I, don't know, I don't know where to find him. I don't know what to do. Me too. I'm as confused as you are. You know, I wanted to go report in the police station earlier. But on the second thought, I said, okay, let me just wait till tomorrow before doing that. Okay, yeah, same here. Well, come to think of it, the man that came with you should have some information about him. Don't you think so? I think so. Do you think, uh, how are we going to see him now? You know what, you shouldn't go far because maybe he will come back looking for you. No, no, I'm not going anywhere. It's fine. Please don't. Um, the thing now is that my dad is so furious. Hey, he's angry. Like I've just been busy defending him before him. But I don't know. I don't even know what to say again. He said if he doesn't come tomorrow, that he's going to sack him. It's okay, Shah. Just take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, bye. It's okay, Sha. Just take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Bye. How am I supposed to tell Fitz that I am suspecting Doris in this case? Ah. I won't tell her. Let me just look for a better reason. To believe what I'm feeling. Yes. Up so early. Good. You are enjoying it alone. Wow. It's wow. Okay. You mean all these things have been going on, and we, as the head of the family, did not know. Ha. What kind of excuse are you making for them now? Are you trying to cover them? Look, look, look. 
it's okay. There's no problem. I am driving now, and I, w I will call you back, and everything will be taken care of. I don't see the reason why I should be there as the head of the family, and this type of thing is going on, and I, and you will hid it from me. Okay. Just hold on, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Please. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Have you heard from that, um, um, how's help? No news yet. We've not heard anything. This is terrible. What could he have gone to? I'm sure Trilla fell on his head. I'm sure because he doesn't stay in one place. In fact, that's what that's what he deserves. Honestly. He doesn't just respect himself. Are you here to mock him? Or you have something to confess? Confess about what? About what please don't don't, don't start. Please don't even start. Please, please. But like seriously. Yeah, like seriously. Are you trying to tell me that you don't know anything about his disappearance? Excuse you the hell out of me. No. Are you? Really? You want to accuse me? Huh? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, that's the truth. That's the truth? Yes. Because how will you explain the bitterness you make him go through in this house? How? You are always insulting him. Always making him feel less of himself. Okay, since you suspect me this much, why don't you report me to the police? What are you waiting for? Oh, like seriously? Yes! I would have reported it to the police long ago. Give it up for the respect I have for my You brother. don't have any respect for anybody. You don't even respect me. But why report me now? So you don't want to open your mouth and confess what you Confess what? No, you have to confess what? Confess what? You just have love that I have respect for my brother. Else you'll be in police cell. I, you, you can I mean it. Sweetheart. You think you can you, find it? You see? You see? I don't know what you're waiting for to report. Please. You don't have to wait for my permission before reporting her to the police. Miss Pisa Kachu. So this is how you disrespect my fiancé in my absence. What are you saying? You know, when you called me and explained everything on the phone, I thought you were being reasonable. But walking in here, I'm seeing a different thing. So you are the one giving this guy's impression to insult my fiancé? My God has been dedicated. Thank you, Lord. You have vindicated me. So you just concluded without hearing from me. Well, what else do I need to hear? You told me everything on the phone. This is so wrong. Mm -hmm. You have to accord me that respect. Peace. My love, my, my sweetheart, do you know she actually she actually told the cook and the gatesman to always insult me. That's what she does. Since you left, I have suffered. Doris! You are a pathetic liar! Yes! You lie too much! What a liar! You, you don't, you don't respect There's enough, me. enough, enough, enough of this. What is enough? Ah, sir. Welcome, sir. Uh -huh. What is enough? So, all this were going on on the map. Way not for your mom who called me from overseas. I wouldn't have known anything about it. 
or, or all of you were waiting for things to get out of hand before we went to my office. I am disappointed, highly disappointed. I'm so sorry, Dad. I was waiting to hear from the man I met him at his place. At least maybe if I have any information from him, then I can talk to you about it. Then, uh, how come you accuse Doris wrongly without any proof? Because she said she was going to get rid of you. Sam. <clears throat> yes, I said that. But I said those words out of anger. I didn't mean them. And you know it. Really? But you've been bullying him since he, you met him here. Bullying him? He's been the one insulting me. Sam. He insulted me. The first time we met, he's, he told me that no man will ever get married to me. He said it. And since that day, he has been making my life unbearable. He caused this whole thing. Hope will not be sorted for just no reason. And Doris will not just pick a fight without you stepping on her toes. And you, Kevin, why don't you call me to tell me about it? I, I thought you Where and uh, I didn't do anything. I deliberately did not do anything. Is that what you are saying? And you, Mister Fix It, who can handle everything, to go away. No, Dad. Don't dad me. Do not dad me. Even if I was aware, you should have called me to tell me things. Instead. You called your mom, who is far away overseas, when I, your father, is here, right here in Nigeria, with you. Forgetting that you, I am the man in, in authority, I am the one in charge, and your mother acts under my authority. There are words that are implicated. There are words that you're not supposed to use when you are upset. Because such words will be used against you when the time comes. The issue of hope is one that you have to take very seriously. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Evan, so you came with Sophia. I hope all is well. All is well, my dear. <laughs> she was the one that actually brought those people to your gate yesterday. Uh -uh. Sophia, and are you? Eh, uh, she was new. They made me was coming from an errand. Okay. And at first, the man mentioned Hope. But I told him I don't know anybody by that name in this area. It was later the man mentioned your name and the place you live. And I brought them here. Hope there's no problem. No, not at all there. I was just wondering who could have come check on me without my consent. <sighs> but he said he had been calling the server, yeah? picking up his calls. Oh, wait. What time did you say you met him? I think 9 to 10, if I'm not mistaken. It's okay. But sorry, dear. Can you somehow describe him? Yeah, of course. He's somehow tall, not fair, not really fair like that. It's okay, yeah. Thank you. All right. Oh, take care of yourself, huh? Okay. Regards to your mom. Okay. Bye. Um, from her description, do you actually have an idea of who this person is? Uh, there was actually someone who kept calling and calling, okay. but I, but I ignored him. And it was around the same time she just told me that he came looking for me. And from her description, I think I have an idea who that person is. 
But there's just something that's not adding up. Like, how did he even manage to get my address? What is the man? Is this someone I know? is full of ups and downs today you are up tomorrow you could be down trials will come temptations will come in this life's journey oh some people will walk against you they want to see you fall to see your downfall but you must try Try to stand tall so that you don't fall. Oh, oh, I was very happy about what you said to me on the phone. <laughs> Give me gist now. Babe, you needed to have been there. Yeah. My man stood by me. I knew if Kelvin was around, huh? All those nonsense wouldn't have happened now. He wouldn't have allowed them to do that, that nonsense to me. Yes, now. Wait, oh, let me understand what you're saying. You mean the sister could not say anything hmm. in front of her brother? She couldn't say anything. At first, she wanted to run her mouth. Hmm. But, bro, still, I said, shut up. Shut up your mouth. She quiets her mouth. What hey. sense, girl? But see, um, Doris, listen, try not to get it odds with this girl. You know she's your fiance's only sister. I mean, for crying out loud, you guys are supposed to be like best of friends and not enemies. Well, my darling. We both come from two different lifestyles. I'm of the upper class. She chose to mix up with the poor people. Well, I cannot bring myself down to the slums. I can't do that. Girl, you know I'm class. Mm. I'm the word class. We come from two different class. Okay? She chose to mix up with the poor people. I chose to keep it really Hey, you know, baby, you don't understand. I cannot <laughs> listen now. I cannot mix up with these people from mm. the slums. I cannot. I know. I mean, you don't even know how I feel. Damn. I feel great and victorious, girl. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey, uh, babe. How far for the guy Matana? Any good news about him? Mm, maybe today. If not, say I just use my church hat for give him mm. and Kelvin father put smart for the matter. I wouldn't have forgiven him, but you know what? I just wanted to listen to them. I just, just forgive him. Nothing much. I changed my mind. Okay? Hmm. I cannot talk. Oh. You know, see if I talk now. <clears throat> you go say I don't start again. Kichi, don't start. I I what is it? Keep my mouth shut. I'll pull your lashes. <laughs> I'll just remove your lashes. <laughs> what is it? Talk, I beg. Uh, except if you tell me you won't get angry, no go vex. I beg if you don't want to talk about it, then why did you bring it up? Are you, you like doing this thing? No, no yeah, no, no, no. I will act. Let me let me tell you hey, before you start to the what is it? Did you know where the guy was? Like, did you have any idea about the guy? Nkechi, mm -hmm. did they pay you to investigate me? Of course not. Why would you say that? Why would you ask me that? I mean, you you promised never to ask me such question again. I don't see, understand. You see, why you ask me that question? That's why I didn't want to ask you. You said, okay, ask, ask, ask. Excuse now why I won't keep quiet. I beg, though. I beg. Auntie, gwe, gwe, gwe. Uh, Let us go. Oh yeah, now let's go. No vex. Sorry.
Good morning, young lady. Good morning, sir. And please, do you stay around here? Oh, no, sir. I don't. Oh, no. oh. I'm looking for Gozier Street. I'm sorry, sir. I don't live around here. Maybe you should ask someone who lives around in this neighborhood. All right. Sorry. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How silly am I? I was here yesterday. Why did I miss the road? Huh? I'll greet you, sir. Do you live around here? Yes, I live around here. Please come in and help me locate uh, Engineer Gozier Street. I don't understand. Yeah. I should come in. Uh, I'm not a killer. What are you doing? No, I'm not even thinking towards that side. I, your face is familiar. I think I've met you before. Are you not the man who gave me money somewhere at one hotel like that? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> oh. How are you? It's all right. Wow. That's good. Sir, thank you so much for the other day. Yeah, it's my pleasure, my brother. It's my mm. pleasure. Wow. Okay, you say you're going to go yes. Yes, yes, yes. Number what? Number 19. Number 19, number yes, 19. Yes, number... Yes, yes. Okay, where exactly do you want to see there? Yeah, um, I'm looking for Faith. So, so, sorry for asking. Who is she to you? Oh, she's a family member. <laughs> you ask as if you knew her. Okay. Uh, yes, she's my neighbor. Uh, Does she know you're coming? Uh, no, 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 no. I was there yesterday. She wasn't around. Though the route I took yesterday is different from the one of today. That's the reason I missed my route. So I was calling her all the time and she's not picking her call. I don't know why she's not picking her call. Are you sure you, you, you call her real phone number? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very sure. 080 You're right. That's her phone number, sir. Yes. Okay, let me take you there. Oh. It will in Lanya Dima. Hope is a good thing to have when there is life. There is hope. With hope you can cope. Don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. Succeed. You don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. 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 Echi ihe gadima. Succeed or oh, succeed. Echi ihe gadima. Life is full of ups and downs Today you are up Tomorrow you could be down Trials will come Temptations will come In this life's journey oh. Some Wait, what happened? Your, your number has been switched up And Why? Where did you meet him? I read my own case Forget about it. We'll talk about that one later, okay? You have a visitor here. That he said that he was here yesterday, but couldn't find you. But that was not the question I just asked you. Where did you meet him? He missed his way. So he saw me on my way home. And uh, he asked me of our street and described you. So I told him I know the person. Sir, is there any problem? There's no problem, my son. You can go now. Why do you thank you so much, eh? It's okay, sir. So I live here. I'll be inside. Let me allow you guys to talk. It's all right. Faith. I came to this town for a construction project under my supervision. I called to know if we can meet, but you didn't pick. I sent a text message. You never replied. I had to call your mom's sister, who gave me your home address. Okay. Tell me, why are you here? I am sorry. I didn't bother to know you are aware about all these years. I know you are very angry with me. I have disappointed you in many ways. And also to know how you are feeling. I'm fine. As you can see, I'm coping well. I'm doing alright without your assistance. 
now that you've seen me with your eyes that i'm doing okay i'm doing well i am sound and healthy you can leave what yes just like that yes just like that you know seeing you brings back memories of how my mother passed of how you were not there for me all these years you abandoned me when i was just 16. you sent me away to go live with an with an aunt who never cared about me but herself i know i've made a mistake but i'm here to rectify all my errors please please what the time I needed you the most, you were not there. Now I am matured to take care of my responsibilities by myself, just like I've been doing. So I don't need you right now. You can go, mister. Please, leave. It's too late. It is not too late, Faith. I am your blood. A repented father who is pleading before his daughter for forgiveness. Please. You listen to me. Last time I checked, I do not have a father. <laughs> Even if I did, that was before my mom passed. Okay? Who even knows if you if you have children littered over the place? Because the way I look at you right now, you haven't changed at all. I don't have children anyway. You are my only daughter and uh, a son who is three years older than you that is all so you even have another son you have a son i know nothing about and you never deemed it fit to try to connect the both of us and you're here telling me that you've changed mr madi you haven't changed at all please leave this place that is one of the reasons I'm here to see you. As you so, can see, I am not in the mood to further this conversation with you. Leave my house! Do, do you want me to embarrass you? Wait for me. Let me drop this clue. Leave my house! Leave my house, Mr. Madi! I'm sorry about that, sir. But you see, you just have to go, maybe come back some other time. I can understand that. I can understand. Can you do me a favor? Okay, sir, if it's something that I can actually do, why not? Please help me talk to her. Let her know that I'm not pretending. I distanced myself away from her for a long time. I wouldn't like that to happen any longer. Please. It's okay, sir. I'll try my best. So you've actually repented of what you did. Take it easy on yourself. Okay? Calm down, relax, and calm your nerves. Okay? Just take it easy on yourself. I want to go in now, take my shower, and rush off to work. When I come back, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. Okay? Take it easy. So 
So after everything, he then asked me to go home. When I got home, I didn't tell Faith. I had to freshen up and start coming to work in the other day. Because I... Because I know you will be worried. <sighs> so, Faith is not even your sister? No, sir. She's not my sister. She's just a friend. Just a friend or a lover? No, sir. She's just a friend. Yes, uh, I am sorry I lied to you that she was my sister. But she's not. Because she's the only one who can stand in for me as a guarantor. And she is the only one who is very close to me. It's okay. She is the closest person to you now. Uh, more of a sister than a friend. But those boys need to be arrested. No, sir. No, sir. We have to let them. Why? Sir, they are cultists. And I wouldn't want to endanger the life of a poor girl who is being helpful to me. Well, you, you have a point there. But uh, that doesn't mean that uh, something cannot be done about it. When you get home, just tell Faith. Mm -hmm. It's not good to keep anything away from her. Because she too has to be careful. Mm -hmm. And tell her to be, you know, to be ready to move in here this weekend. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, I must be on my way. truly had a bitter experience. He didn't even bother to check on me, to know how I was faring. The funny thing is, I would call him and he would give me the run around and tell me he would call me back, but he never did. So I had to pick myself up, sponsored myself through school, and became a graduate and I decided to cut my ties with him because he does not deserve my forgiveness hmm. Wow I'm so sorry that you had to pass through all this at a tender age Your story is quite pathetic when you told me that your mom died, you never told me that your father pushed you to start living with your auntie just because of another woman. You never, you never said this to me. You never told me that your auntie maltreated you so badly. You never told me that you started staying alone and started fending for yourself. I mean, I'm encouraged by your story. What would I have done? Give up? Never. I had to fight against all odds. And that's why I've become the strong woman that I am today. You know, when I met you, I felt connected to you, probably because of what you told me, because when I was in the streets, I had help from strangers who knew nothing about my background. And from the first time I saw you, I promised myself that I was going to pay it forward. I was going to do the same thing that people did for me. And I also believe that. God brought us together for a purpose. I understand, but you just have to let go. 
I saw a sincere repentance in that man's eyes this morning. Pure repentance. I mean, he's regretting all he did. You just had to find a place in your heart to forgive him because you can't continue living like this. If you will be sincere to yourself, you will know that you will still miss him as a father. I do. Well, okay. At some point, he was good to us. But when that witch came into his life, everything changed. She separated me from my father. It's never too late, my dear. It's never too late. Remember you used to tell me that I should always forget about the past, drop the bitterness and face the future. Now you're not practicing what you're preaching to me. <sighs> okay, I've heard you and I appreciate you. You know, thank you for not just being a good friend, but I think I'll say <laughs> I just found a big brother. <laughs> so thank you. You have one now. Aww, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. So, <clears throat> that aside, what happened? You just disappeared a whole day. Where were you? We live in a world where the head becomes the tail in our balance. Hey, we live in the world. Guy, how far now? How far? The head, life in our balance. What's it? What is it? Ah, ah. Uh uh, don't tell, no tell me say you still the best for what you will do things. Huh? I'm not angry, but what is it? Oh, okay, now, nah, okay. Hence, you're not angry now. Nah. You don't say God is God. Uh, beg, uh, smile for me now. Nah. Smile. Why should I smile for you? Am I your girlfriend? Yeah? I don't know you say that. Because you will trouble if you they smile. A guy, I know now. Nah. Yeah? yeah? Don't be lie you talk, oh. Don't be lie you talk, guy. Uh -huh. Maybe tell me say you won't sell your clothes. Yes, I won't sell my clothes. You won't buy. I don't know. Uh, I feel I feel owe you at least. Uh, uh, before end of next week, I go. See, 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 see. I am not ready for that. Your end of next week. I need urgent money now. So you won't buy. Guy, oh, do you now. have cash? Guy, cool down now. Cool down. Uh, guy, wait now. Wait now. Eh? You know, say. Eh? Let's say God is God. Relax. You won't you, buy. Do you have cash with you? See, guy. How do you want to sell it? Guy, God is God now. Cool down. Now, 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 why are you calling me like that? Uh, make for that one. Um, I, 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 I should be um, hope, baby. I hope he be um, a fit boyfriend. I can't remember meeting you before. Any problem? Mm, no problem, no problem, no problem. Uh, Abby told me that I uh, have good for sale. Yeah. What is wrong with that, Abby? Yeah? Why is Abby telling everyone that I have? Some clothes to sell. Why? No mean, no mean. If they don't talk about it, how do you how do you get a buyer? How do you think? Uh, okay. I think you have a point there. <sighs> so uh, so I want to know whether uh, the clothes are they good stuffs? I mean, I mean, no. No. Of course they're my personal stuffs. I don't wear rubbish show. Yes, yes, uh, okay, we need to go to a corner. Okay. So we can do the you know this place is an open uh, an open place for this business. Uh, 
Okay, you have a good place for us to go. Yeah, there's a shade over there. You can go. You can go to the island, please. Yeah. Please go. Let's go. I've never hurt a bee in any way. I've never offended a bee in any way. Why is he doing this to me? Why? Eh? Baby, why? This is not fair now. You guys are keeping me on whole stage here. Eh? Let me go, please. So, for your smelling mind, you think saying an AB? Nine senders. No, from your dirty mind, you think saying an AB nine senders. Now listen, Mr. Man. Your full details. They are pan. We know everything about you. Every bit. You hear me? Uh, Give me that food. I food. If they leave you now, I won't go and sack off for you. I, I need to answer that call. For what now? This man. Yeah. You get go so. From now, eh? This is your phone now, now our phone. Now our property. Eh? See, we are done with you. Package that phone, bro. Package that phone. I know you're a, I know you're not Package. a thief. Why are you taking my... Hey! Hush! Hey. End of discussion! One more word from you, eh, Mr. Man. Hey. One more word from you, mm. eh? I will use your head and play table tennis. Mm. Eh? I will use your head and play basketball. Mm. Oh, wow, chill. <laughs> you know who I be? Mm. 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 Wow. Chill, white dove. I will show you who I be just now. White dove. Talk about it. White dove. Dove out. Dove? Dove. You say dove. Kai, wahala. Hello, guy. How far now? Normally now, you know how to do one thing now. No, wow. Yes, now. Lifestyle, normal level. We got fights. We did do things. Based on, you know, we don't like cheating. Yes, for our cartel men. That's our cartel, they want things. And as it be, we did fight for our brothers. So that anything that our brothers want, that is what they will get. Okay, guy, you are carried. Everywhere is sweet, everywhere is sweet too. <laughs> the junk itself, eh, you don't need to say nah, AB. You need suspect AB. Yes, and it's good that way. Lifestyle. You don't understand. That way, you might not even near your side. You get me? Just tell us what you want. And, back on. We will we, we we'll just deliver, and I deliver with the ensure. Now, what for you? You don't know me again. I mean, uh, and if you yeah. normal level, don't happen. Now, wow, are we not dancing now? Nah, nah. It will happen just now. It's too much. <clears throat> Hope, or whatever you call yourself. You see that food where you the chop, eh? Another man is iron. That fool is in the shop. Another man is iron. And that bunny house is in the street. or whatever you call it. He goes Kalawu. Really? And he just got seven things. What did I say? Repeat after me. You just have what? Very tough. And it's soft. Whoever the guy spoke with on the phone wasn't Eddie. The person must be someone who is very close to you. What are you planning to do? Pack your things and leave? Of course I will not do that. I only said that so I can be set free. 
we have seven days to find out who the person is. And the person must be arrested and signed in for us that nothing will happen to me, you or any of our relatives. That's correct. And I don't think it's my ex. No, it can't be him. It's not my ex either. Are you, are you sure? Yes, I am. Because he was the one who broke up with me, not the other way around. His reason was um, he wanted me to be a housewife. And I just couldn't um, stay in a man's house without doing anything. But then the whole vision for my BSc would be destroyed as I, I, I decided to stay firm and he didn't like it. He called it quits. And being the strong girl that I am, I stood my ground. Though I felt it when he left, but after a while I snapped out of it. So <laughs> no, it's not it's not him. I'm sure it's not him. From what you just explained, I think you're right, but who else could possibly be the person? What? Have you figured out who the person is? <laughs> There's actually one person I'm suspecting. Because this person was asking me out. He's been disturbing me for a relationship. And who is the person? Uche, baby's friend. Uh -huh. Maybe you tell me, say you won't sell your clothes. Yes, I won't sell my clothes. You won't buy. Uh -huh, no. uh, I feel I feel owe you at least. Uh, uh, before end of next week, I go. See, 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 see. I am not ready for that. Your end of next week, I need urgent money now. So you won't buy. Guy, oh, do you have cash? Guy, cool down now, cool down. Uh, guy, wait now, wait now. Eh? You know, say, eh? you say God is God. Relax. You won't yeah. buy. Do you have cash with you? See, guy. Wow. You never told me he has approached you in any way. He did. He even asked AB to come talk to me, but I bluntly told him my mind I wasn't interested. He then got angry and said he was going to ruin any relationship I get into. Then later on, he apologized and we joked about it. You know. <laughs> you know, he's a cultist. Like, this street cultist. So, AB is with them too? AB is just a long time friend to Uche. You know, AB, and I love to get into trouble. He likes this their street nonsense. At times, he gets better, he quits. Then, after a few days, he runs back to them and, you know, starts to gallivant all around. See, the AB you see is a graduate of mass communication. Yes. Wow. This story is interesting to hear. He's just been influenced by that Uche into all these studios art. Influenced by influence. Is he a baby? <laughs> we just need to act very fast. Yeah. Just need to use wisdom and act on this issue very fast. That's, that's, that's definitely the way to go about it. We live in a world where the head becomes the tail in all balance. Hey, we live in the world. Where the tail becomes the head, life in no balance you. Babe, don't worry. Um, the houseboy will come get it. Oh. Yeah, let's go. And the bad ones. Mm -hmm.
It's a long story. He said he was kidnapped by some boys who thought he was dating a girl. Their friend is still eyeing from afar. Oh. It's not as if their friend is dating the person. Uh -oh. He's eyeing the girl from afar. They had to kidnap him. They, According to him, he said they threatened him not to go close to the girl again. Oh, no. When I caught guys, they do that kind of thing where well, well. Not him, no. Yeah. But thank God he came back safe and sound. Thank God. You see what I told you about Doris the last time. She didn't have said those things to her. Now look at it. She doesn't even know anything about it. Eh? See, I regret my actions towards Doris. Fine. But it was her behavior that made me suspect her. Babe, you need to apologize to her. Well, I called her earlier. She didn't pick. So I had to send her an apology text message. Oh. Told her I'm sorry. Better. At least you've done your own part. You know me already. When I am at fault, I'm not too proud to say I'm sorry. Really? Mm -hmm. But you don't do that for me. If not my own, it will be too plenty low to tell me I'm sorry. Why do worry this one? I don't tell you say your mumu not too much. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't want your body. Oh, yeah, let's go now. Shall you say I should take you to the boutique I where mean, I bought my you clothes? You need to hold on. Let me just change up into something better and we'll get back. I don't understand. Change up as how? Now, party you go. <laughs> So because it's boutique we are going to, I shouldn't change into something better. Are you going better. to a party? Excuse me. Please just hold on. Let me change, okay? Be right back. Hi, Doris. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm okay. Doris, um, I am so sorry for accusing you wrongly. I think I went too far. I actually called, but you didn't take my call. So that was why I had to text you. You know, we are friends. We're not supposed to be enemies. I'm sincerely sorry. <sighs> Peace. We're friends, like you said. Friends trust each other. Friends believe each other. I have nothing against you. I actually forgive you. You're a, you know me. I, I just say it and, and that's it. 
But before you accuse someone, you need to get your facts right. You know? Yeah, I know. And you too, mind the way you talk to people. Because one day your mouth can land you in trouble. Okay, so this is, is this your kind of apology? Mm. Apologies, true advice. <laughs> okay, I get it. I'm sorry too. Alright? You're welcome. Um, actually, I want to see my brother. Oh, that's why okay. he wanted to talk to me. Okay. Okay. You look nice. Thank you, and you too. <laughs> I want to ask you a question and I want you to be very sincere. What is it? Are you dating Hope? Hell no. Why do you have to think of such? Because of the way you are always protecting or should I say siding him as if he's, he's perfect in, in, in all he does. Well, for now, Hope does not have any faults. None that I know of. Hope is he's intelligent, he's focused, he's smart, he's everything good. In short, he's more than a friend. He, he's my friend. That's the problem. He is not more than a friend. He is your maid. He is your house boy. Okay? And you have to leave it like that. Be mindful of the way you... 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 talk about him. So that he doesn't disrespect you tomorrow. He won't. I understand your plight. Ah, big brother. I know you're trying to look out for your younger sister. But see, hell no. This girl here knows what she's doing. Nobody's going to take me for granted. I'm smart. <sighs> and it won't get to that point, okay? I promise you that. Just be Just careful. Be I'm careful. telling you the fact. Just be I careful. will, big brother. I will. You're looking out for me. Oh, shame. I just. Ooh, can I go now? Can I go now? It's fine. Don't go. <laughs> oh! Yes? How dare you answer me? Yes? <laughs> Can you imagine? You call somebody still and that person answered you yes. You ask, you're asking how dare you answer Is that my name? Oh, yes? Why are you so big to answer your name, which is Hope, a useless name? Huh? So you can't address me as Madame? Hmm? Doris, Doris, see, I don't have this time. Yeah? Madame Doris. Go ahead and say what you want to say, please. I have something to do. Well, I want you to get water and wash my car. I don't want to go in and come out. You haven't attended to it. I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Okay? I have some other things to do. Yes. This already asked me to do to draft a proposal for her. And it's very urgent. Well, that proposal can wait. You will attend to me first. Hmm? She needs to submit that proposal tomorrow somewhere, I don't know. But I have to draft it now. I don't care! It's very urgent. I cannot wash Excuse your car. Excuse me, I'm not here to banter words with you. You are going to wash that car whether you like it or yes. Yes, you will wash that car, you will not disobey me. Unfortunately, I am not disobeying anybody. I am going to do what I'm supposed to do first before any other thing because that one came first and it's very urgent. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. So I'm sorry. Uh, well, you're going to wash that car. You are going to wash I am not that going. car. What is wrong with you? You will wash that car. You will wash the car. What, what the hell? You are going to wash the car. What nonsense. What are you feeling like? What is this one? I will tell you to do something and you refuse to do it. Who, who are you? You are going to wash that car whether you like it or not. What nonsense. Doris, Doris, calm down. What is it? Eh? Ask this disrespectful houseboy. I asked him to wash my car. I asked him to wash my car. He refused. Blatantly. But Clifford is there. That's his work. Excuse you? Clifford's job is at the gate. His, he will wash it. What do you mean? So I can't ask anybody walking here to do something for me? No, that's not what I'm saying. So what exactly are you saying? He wasn't even around. I was the one that called him to come back. He had to come back because of me. Because I need him to do something immediately. And so? 
I even told her, but she insisted I go wash her own first. I told her. Um, please, Doris, I don't know why you are always fighting me. Why? What do you mean I'm, I'm, I'm always fighting for? Why is he disrespecting me? Why is he disrespecting me? He should accord me some respect, period. We are not this. We are not the same class. You know what? Just allow him to do what I want him to do for me. Then he will go and check her. Whatever. Whatever. He can finish yours and when he's done, you will wash. Did I say where? You must wash the car. And when you are done, you will go to my room and wash my clothes. Ah. He go. Um, please, Hope, just ignore her. By now you should be used to her. Anyway, so I have a choice. I have a choice now. Please, just ignore her excesses. Please. Aha, uh -huh. you said you want me to write a proposal. Oh, yes. Please sit. Yes. Um... My dad asked me to write a proposal for him and he wants me to submit it immediately. So I need your help. Why don't you get Kelvin to do that? Why me? Well, on my way back home, I went to see Faith and we had a long discussion. In that discussion, we discussed about you. <laughs> and guess what? She told me good things about you. She was really emphasizing on how smart and intelligent you are. Um, that notwithstanding, I've actually noticed that in this house that you are very intelligent and smart. So that's why I want you to help me out. Please leave my brother out of this. So are you going to help me? It's okay. Go ahead and supply me with the details. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. You know what? Let me just get my laptop so I can show you. Leave Mr. Hope alone. Don't worry. Chai. What did Mr. Hope do to you? That you hate him so much, yo. Dislike him so much, yo. Madam Doris, because Rabu Mr. Hope. Come on, Mary, Tobiko. Okay, I just feel we should. You good? I'm not good. What happened? Is it not that hopeless hope you kept in this house? That hopeless cleaner you kept in this house? Babe, that, that man really pissed me off. What happened? Okay, babe. I asked him nicely, please can you wash my car? And the way he responded to me, he looked at me like I'm a nobody. Really? He ignored me. Honestly, baby, I was nice. I said, please hope, can you help me wash my car? And he said, please, I have something important to do. When I'm done with that, I will look into it. Like, he said that to you? Yes! But he looked at me from head to toe like, like I was a nobody. Okay, okay it's fine. I even forgot to tell you. He, he, he's probably thinking that he's a big boy. He's thinking that he's a big boy, that since you are home, that you can do the washing yourself. It's okay, it's okay. Say no more. Say to you. That's my baby. I love you. <laughs> baby! Uh, baby! Baby! <laughs> what? What is that? What are you feeling in this house? Are you taking yourself to be the boss or not? Why would you be told what to do and your and your country needs? Are you not the boss in this house? I don't understand. Have you forgotten your job in this house? I know my job actually, but it's not the way you're. Are you sure you know your job? My fiance told you to help her do something, help her run an errand, and you left it. Please. And you're telling me you know your job? I have an urgent something to do at that particular time. Can you, can you, can you, she said that. you have an urgent something to do. Kevin, More than what my fiance Kevin, told you. Kevin, it's okay. Am... It's fine. Why are you concluding like this without hearing from him? Hearing from him? What? 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 
What are you? Okay, yeah, let me I, hear from I, you. I needed to do what she asked me to do for her. Can you stop to... using peace as an excuse? Are you stupid? Don't they lie to you because she wants to cover up her evil actions? Me! Me! Lie! Were you there? Were you there when he insulted me? Huh? I, I, I never did. I didn't insult you. You are so my fiance is a liar, right? Don't risk. Can, can we stop all this? This is all the reason I'm here. I'm telling you that my fiance told this man to wash that car and he left it. But the car is not dirty. Which, which car is not dirty? Very pathological what, 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 So what, she's what, lying. What, what, you know what? what? It's fine. Let's go and see the car. Yes, The car is not dirty. My yes. fiance is lying, right? Yes. Let's go. This way. Let's go and see the car. Liar! Liar! I don't lie. Let's go and see the car. I'm a child of God. I don't lie. And, and, and I see vision. I don't lie. For real. But one day now, one day. Life must balance you. One day now, one day. I got money. Is this the cash she's sending? I, I mean, when I saw it, it was dirty. I guess rain fell on it and it washed the, the dirt away. What kind of rain will fall on things? You know, the house is soundproof, so there's no way we will we, we'll hear the rain. I mean, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm, it was dirty when I came here. Trust me. But if it rained, at least the ground will be wet. Well, that's enough, please. Um, maybe she's right, maybe you're right. Let's let that go. It's fine. Oh, no, please. I'm sorry about that. Big bro, she has to apologize to who? Sorry, okay? Please forgive me. Please, I don't know what's happened to me. Eh? Seem like that girl, you juju. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this is not me. You know I love you. You know I love you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> eh? Please forgive me, baby. Oh, baby, you know you're my angel now. Wow. Eh? You know what? Please, baby. You know what, Raymond? What is cool? Go to hell. I hate you, I hate your name, I hate everything about you. Baby. Don't ever try to stop me ever again. Don't even dare. Lemon, go to hell. Baby, please. Baby, don't touch me. Baby, don't. baby, don't do this. I love you. I love you, baby, please. Baby, please. I'm sorry. Honestly, I thought the car was dirty. I, I probably used a sleepy eyes to um, to check. I, I, I didn't know it was clean. The car was clean. You know, but I, I kind of feel like he doesn't... Okay, can you, can you stop with all these lies, please? What do you intend to gain with all of this? Nothing, honestly. Baby, the thing is, this, this guy, he doesn't like me. And I feel like he, he, he thinks I'm too small to send him on errands. Honestly, babe, I'm sorry. It wouldn't happen again, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll talk to him. I'm sure from now onwards he will start respecting you. But please don't don't do that again. You made me fool myself out there. Thank you for standing here. You know you don't have another job. Just try to see how you can manage everything in that house. At least until one of the jobs you applied for pans out. You don't understand. If you're able to leave with her, I mean, let's say half a day at least, you will experience what I've been facing. Her presence is frustrating. Listen. She only came into the house to make things difficult for you so you will lose your job. 
And if you accept defeat, then she wins. See, inasmuch as you're doing your job diligently and Mr. Nelson isn't complaining, then you have nothing to worry about. She cannot throw you out of that house, okay? Besides, don't just tell Mr. Nelson anything that is going on, okay? I heard it very well. I know how to handle people like that. Now you're talking. <laughs> so how far have you gone with your father? Uh, that. <sighs> he called me this morning, but I didn't take his calls. I spoke with him on my way coming to this place. That man is really bitter with himself. Nine seven. <laughs> was that for the price of the money in the market? Okay. listen, let me tell you something. Don't just allow hatred to be in your heart forever. If you are able to resolve the indifferences within you, then the resentment that has been with you for long will dissolve gradually. I, I have to congratulate you and thank you also for the proposal I did for me a few hours ago. I went through it, I was highly impressed. You know? <laughs> we thank God. Um, <laughs> I'm happy it wasn't split. I just hope it comes out successfully. Yes, yes. In fact, I, my clients were, were happy too, you know. I, it's going to come out. I, I hope so. I thought my secretary would have recovered and resumed work by today, but um, he hasn't. And uh, it is not proper for me to give his job to anybody, you know, especially those that don't know their capabilities. I totally understand that. Yeah. I, I was even thinking of um, employing you in my office. It was so that you do some of uh, those uh, sensitive uh, things that my secretary normally does until we are ready to, to go for your studies overseas. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that that's mine. No, oh, please, Dad, just give me something I can handle. Uh, you trust me. I will not give you something that is beyond your capacity. Thank you so much, Dad. I really do appreciate this. Thank you. Yes. You can go now. I want to have a look. Yeah. Okay, Dad. Uh -huh. ah. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I called you so that we will discuss. Okay. I got a call today that the, the project you went to supervise has been put on hold because of what you told them which you know is not true secondly I have told you several times to be coming to the office so that you know how things are done before I now shift some responsibilities to you but you seem not to be interested. A few days ago, I asked you to write me a proposal. You didn't object. It was only when I came to check on you yesterday to find out how far you are going that you told me that you don't think you'll be able to write such a proposal. All these things do not go down well with me. So I ask you, what? do you want to do with yourself? What do you want to do? Well, Dad, um, I've said this over and over again. We've had this discussion before and you said that you're going to get back to me. I told you I want to start my own business. He has showed me that you want to think about it and get back to me, which you never did. 
and he never bothered to talk about it again and myself I chose not to also talk about it because I believe you were doing it on purpose and, um, maybe because I I refused to work in your company so yeah I'm saying it again I don't want to work in your company that I want to start my own business firm yes okay um, I want your mom to be present, to be in the know of whatever that is going to go on. Mm? And I am giving you, between now and the next one month, to tell me the kind of business you want to do and how much you need. Okay. Good. Okay, Dad. Right. So, think about it and get back to me. Huh? All right, thank you, Dad. Let's hope he was this time. <laughs> one day, now one day, this life must balance you. One day, now one day, I got Monday, one wounded. We will know who is who. Hey. Life go balance, this life in no balance, yo. This life in no balance, yo. Oh. This life in no balance, yo. Oh. Play forward. Okay, yeah, he's coming. He's, uh. What's, his, what's that his name? Hope, hope, hope. Is he at home? Uh, I think saying good day inside, though. You think saying good day inside? Haven't you been at home? Why? At their house this morning now. Uh, they my duty poses. Are you daft or dumb? Which of them? I mean, what have you been doing? Tell me. What exactly do you do at home? No, I they here this morning. Why I give you that answer be saying now only in the morning why I see and when I go kitchen go carry my food. Exactly, that is exactly what you are good at. Eat, eat, eat. You just eat and poo. Eat and poo. That is all you are good at, right? Boris, no verse are back. I might ask you one question. What thing I do now will make you the insult me. No, what thing I do. Did I just hear my name? Did did, did, did I did I just hear my no, name? No verse, no verse. Sorry, that mistake. Huh? Sorry. Smello. Thank you. This life be no balance. Oh. The ones with the hair, no, no get stick up. Oh. Help! 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 My name is not Help. My name is Hope. I'm here. What is it? I can choose to call you whatever I didn't fit. Yeah, I want you to get into my car. Um, I, ha I bought some fruits. Wash it up. You know, cut it into slices for my friend and I because we want to have it. And when you do that, while you are that, okay, make sure you wash your hands. Sorry, talk what I understand, okay? I am understand. talking. Make sure you wash your hands because I don't want bacteria into the food. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up. Uh, sorry, if you want me to do something for you, mm -hmm. talk, to, talk to me respectfully, okay? If you want me to do something for you. I'm not your dog. Please. Thank you. Go get the fruits and wash them. That's more like it. Him so much, yo. Dislike him so much, yo. Madame Doris, pick up. Rabu, Mr. Hopper, 
Kongo Milito Wiko. That your dad actually wants you to join him in his business. Yes, so for the position he wants me to take for now, I don't know. But I thought you said he wanted you to finish up your studies at breakfast. Uh, but it's just that he doesn't want me to stay at home so that I will not be hiding, you know, you understand? So that's just why. And two, he's impressed about the quick response I gave to that proposal. <laughs> wow. So yeah. I, is there a way that it was him that did it? No, I didn't tell him. Well, I didn't at all at all. Hmm? Wow. I don't know how you react. Yeah. But if the proposal goes well, uh -huh. I will not open up to him and tell him that. It's hope that helped me. Wow, that's mm. good. Okay. Well, you understand your dad better than me, so you'll be able to tell um, whether it's okay to tell him. Besides, I'm only telling you. You need to be careful with that guy. Hey, I know my limits, girl. You don't need to remind me. I know my limits. I'm still checking. I thought you said the network is better here. Um, I don't know, but mine is going. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm see. just saying based on experience, so you shouldn't get too attached to him. Antonia, I know my limits. Ah, am I a baby? I know my limits. Uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm just fucking based on experience. From what I've passed through. Now, wow. This Raymond of a guy really shows you shaky. You don't understand. Like, seriously. You suffer yeah. for that guy. I'm sorry. It's well, no. it's you I play. Because that guy was just acting all night so that he will know you into falling in love with you. And at the end of the day, he's going to tell you that did he even ask you out? And it's true, he did not act you out. You were yeah. just falling in love because the guy was nice to you. You don't know your lesson. Now, you know everything now. You know how it all started. But my my fear, my anger is just that stupid guy had to lie against me just to get to my man. But it's fine. Okay. I just hope. Me, I rebuke any man like your boyfriend and <laughs> ex-boyfriend Raymond. <laughs> Amen, no. Ah. And for me too, in Jesus' name. Amen, no, oh, my sister. It's like the network. This thing is not loading. Now. Just hold on. Let me get my back so that we The network is really bad, yo. This thing is not loading. No, no, how many times this app is not over to me. Oh, it will lie in my hope is a good thing to have when there is life, there is hope. Succeed, oh succeed, echi ihe gadema. Life is full of ups and downs. Today you are up, tomorrow you could be down. Trials will come, temptations will come in this life's journey. Oh, some people will walk against you. They want to see you fall, to see your downfall. But you must try, try to stand tall, so that you don't fall. Oh, oh. She just came briefly. Oh, mm -hmm. I say, um, okay. Um, NK, uh, yeah. this is Peace. Peace is my baby's sister. She's, she's my sister in law. Mm -hmm. Hi, and hi. this is oh, oh my bad. This is in Kechi. My we we besties. We go way back, you <laughs> yeah. know. Yeah, nice to. Oh, thank nice you guys. Yeah, of Same course. <laughs> nice thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't need to introduce Antonia to you. You already know her. <laughs> oh yes, I think I've met you twice here, right? Oh yes, you're right. Yeah. Twice. Of course, I'm always right. <laughs> well, so let me do the introduction to Kechi. Kechi, meet Antonia, my best friend, oh. who do not want to always come and visit me. Mm. <laughs> so, Should hi. I say nice to meet you? Whatever. Auntie. Auntie. Mm. Auntie. Mm. She has uh, she her hand. Yeah. I have a little pain in my hand. I just managed to to shake peace. Oh, sorry, let me see. Like this side. You know, I I mean, oh 
I remember, I remember. She told me that she had this uh, saw, mm -hmm. saw mm -hmm. in her hand. So, so you can, yeah, you can actually pardon her. You know how it is. Don't sure. Make sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course, I'll make sure. Thank you, I will. I will make uh, sure her, of yes, that. I will. All right. I'll, until I'll see you soon. Okay. Yeah. I'm coming. I'll be back. Okay. Antonia, is anything going on between you and Doris' friend? Raymond? Yeah, my baby. Thank you so much for the treat. I really enjoyed it. I'm happy you did. Okay? You don't have to say that, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, your generosity and your kindness towards me will not be taken for granted. I promise you, you have done a lot for me. And because of that, as soon as the contract and pursuing clicks, I will take you around the world. Oh my God, I can't wait, my dear. You know, it, it has always been my dream to go to my childhood desire places, okay. you know, to around the country. And <laughs> I'm happy you're going to make that work. Oh, sure. Thank I will you. surely make it happen. Your dream will come true, okay? Thank you, babe. Yeah, you're my Thank angel. You, you know you're my angel. I know. And you're my sugar. Yeah. And you're my honey. Aww. <laughs> and you're my lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> hope you can cope. Don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. Succeed. If you don't give up hope, one day you will succeed. Succeed, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Succeed or succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Life is full of ups and downs. Today you are up. Tomorrow you could be down. Mm. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Okay. You take, take care, care of yourself. yourself huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> Wow. Raymond. So ah. this is it, right? Ah, Antonia, how are you doing? So she's the reason why you've been avoiding my calls. Oh, she? Uh, no, I, I just take her to where she don't know, you know, she's new in this town. You can tell that to the birds. Ah. Raymond, the way you hugged her and look at her makeup in your mouth. And you're telling me there's nothing between you guys? Hey, baby. You I mean, no, just this is just a peaceful hug. Really? Mm hmm You're talking to a baby, right? Baby, calm down now. What, what's Sit up? yourself. Ah, Excuse me. Don't ever touch me again. And don't even dare in your life call my line again. Just like that? Not even in your dream. Baby. Fuck you. <laughs> Stop this. Babe, hey, what is your I said stop this car. What is your problem for crying out loud? Just because of saying you saw me with a gear. That's why I just did uh, paralyze this. Eh? Take him easy, car. man. I said, stop this car. Who is she? Who is who? Who is I who? I said, who is she? Who is who? Stop eh? the car. May I stop this car? Yes. For what? I need to stop this car, please. May I go drop you, please. Who is she? Baby, please calm down now. Eh? I go to stop because of saying you see me with you, man. Eh? I hope it's not because of this money where they ask you. Eh? I can't believe that you still have the guts to open just your cheating mouth to say all this rubbish to me. Babe, babe, listen. May I tell you, okay? I've been mad and blood around my vein. Eh? Even though I cheat, but I know cheat. You only caught me with a woman. You don't see me doing anything. Eh? I you just the para. Just take it. Eh? Please, if you don't want to give me this one, tell me. 
You Tell so me, are you giving this money or not? Are you giving to me or not? You are so shameless. So after cheating on me, you still have the guts to open the first thing that you call a mouth. I'm a shameless. So you've been using me just to rape me, right? Babe, even your papa said they cheat. Eh? Your papa said they cheat. No man for this one when they cheat. Eh? No man for this one when they cheat. You know what? Just go to hell. Babe, what is all this? Eh? Don't touch me! Bro, why are they planning like this? Just because you saw me with a gear. Eh? That's why you're behaving like this. But let me tell you, eh? No man, when they cheat. Even your papa, they cheat. Okay? Talk less of me. Where the blood they see they run in my van. Just look at you. You're so disgusting. Me? You know what? Just go to hell! I should go to hell? Yes! You should go to hell. Yes, you two go to hell. You don't collect me from somebody. You don't from a gay collect me from. Eh? Just to just give me a little money. I go repair my car. I do. Don't see it. I'm giving you no money. That's why your life is like this. So don't, don't give me. Tie your money. Go. Okay? Look at this girl. Eh? You stole me from another girl. Shut now up and get out. Eh? So you stole me from another girl. That's why you're like this. I mean, your money. Go. Okay? Tell your money. Go. Look at, look at, look at this girl. Yeah, Why girls they have the, the service? Why they got the shout? I don't go, man. Ha. Your papa there, my friend, get out! Get out! Carry this your bangalow and leave here! Then go! Carry this your bangalow, go. cheat! Ole! Ole, you want to rip your head, fool! Ole! It's your bloody cheat! Blood. Carry this your bangalow away from here! Come, 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 come. What's, what's all this drama? What's this? You know I don't like drama, what's up? That girl fought to me because of me. That dirty thing! Oh, oh! It was that the girl! The girl you told me um, caused your breakup with Raymond? Exactly. Yes. Oh, yes. You know, seeing that girl here, I just feel like punching her eye. No, 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 no. You wouldn't do that. You can't do that. This is my boyfriend's place. You can't. Oh, no, don't do that shit. No. <laughs> Look who he's talking. Because I know if you were the one, I know what you would have done. Now I know now you. Now you say you don't know me. You don't know me, girl. Mm. Listen, my madness get limits. I've got class. I don't fight dirty and you know that. Tell me. Yes, of course, girl. Maybe I don't really know you. Calm down. See, listen up. Forget about this girl. She's dirty. Should I tell you the truth? You and Raymond were not meant to be. Trust me. I've actually forgotten about him. As far as I'm concerned, he's a history to be told. I mean, look at you, look at her. You have class. She doesn't. So, besides, you and Raymond, you guys are not meant to be with each other. Mm. And, come on, babe, look at you. <laughs> look at you, look at her. Mm. Have well, you seen some class? You're right. You're I know, girl. Summer, we don't fight dirty. <laughs> Get into the car. That's my girl. I don't play dirty, girl. I don't play dirty. I move with class. I move with standard. I don't do dirty. So, what should I get for you to drink? Whatever. Your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Cheryl. Okay. I'll stop it. Thank you. Okay, I'm coming. All right, I'm waiting. Please, you call me ma. Yes, Clifford. Where is Hope? Okay. I Hope. haven't seen him since I returned. Yeah, Hope, Hope. Uh, Madam, I think we go to their place, so. Eh, yeah, but he tell me say no will stay long. I don't know why he never come back to now. Why will Hope go to their place without telling me? I don't understand. How? Even if I'm not around, he would have called me on the phone. Eh, uh, not through you talk so, madam, not through you talk. But, eh, uh, maybe he thinks he will come back before you. Let me call him.
Eight missed calls. Six from Hope. Two from my father. Clifford, you can go. Thank you. Hello, Daddy. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I missed your call. My phone was on silent. Good news? What good news, Dad? Okay. Okay, then I'll wait for you. When you come home, can't wait to hear the good news. <laughs> Bye, love you. Huh. Good news? Good news. I heard that. Let me call. Okay. His number is switched off. Really? Yes. I'll try again. His number is switched off. Why don't you send him a test? Please just enjoy yourself. I just like the mixture, you know. It's very <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Give me a nice. Now I must put up the chain. Did you charge that all? Yeah, I did. Just check to confirm. Okay, thank you so much. Alright. You are fit? Yeah, I'm in the house. But I'm unable to enter inside my house because I left my key at my working place. Where are you? The police station. Do you what? What? Wait, 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 wait. You mean those boys that held me hostage has been apprehended? Which police station? Okay, okay. Send me the address. I'm on my way now. I'll come. Wow. Hello, peace. Please, please, calm down. I am so sorry, my dear. I, I couldn't just wait for you. Yes, uh, something urgent came up, so I need to rush out. Faith called me now to tell me that those boys that held me hostage have been apprehended. They're at the police station right now. No, I don't know the place. I asked her to send me the location. Yes. Yeah, once I get the location, I'll send it to you. I'm going there right now. I'm sorry, okay? It's okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you. Succeed, oh succeed, echi ihe gadema. Life is full of ups and downs. Today you are up, tomorrow you could be down. Trials will come, temptations will come in this life's journey. Oh, some people. Will... Yeah, I, I was busy when you called. Um, well, I'm just, I'm just getting home now. Let me do one or two things and I'll call you back.
But then I want to know, is it not something that we can talk on the phone? So what's so important that we cannot talk over the phone? Is Lucas maltreating you? Well, that won't be today. Uh, let's let's see maybe tomorrow or next. I'm I'm very busy at the moment. Okay. All right. Is everything well? Yes, I want to quickly see you for the um, um, station. Please, can I use Mom's car? Yeah, you can. Okay. Is everything well? Hey, if I come back, I'll tell you. Some people will walk against you. They want to see you fall, to see your downfall. But you must try, try to stand tall so that you don't fall oh oh iwe onlanya dema hope is a good thing to have when there is a life there is hope with hope you can cope don't give up hope or oh, one day you will succeed succeed don't give up hope one day you will succeed 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 echi ihe gadema succeed or succeed echi ihe gadema uwanka o uwadiego some people will single you out to push you out of a good position into a bad condition they will always wrongly accuse you, insult you and maltreat you away. But you must try, try to stand tall. Sandra, how are you? I'm fine. Why is your face like this? I'm okay. I'm going back home. I'm fine. Actually, I'm in a hurry. I would have dropped you. But I'm in a hurry. What Just take this for your transport, okay? Thank you. Take this, I'm giving it to you for your transport, except you consider me an enemy. Thank you. Okay. I'll be expecting your call. No problem. I'll call you later tomorrow when you're worried, okay? Okay. I'll be sure. I'll right. take care. Thank you. Yeah. Try to stand tall so that you don't fall. Oh, oh, oh. So that you don't fall, oh, 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 eh, oh. Iwe onlanya dema. Hope is a good thing to have when there is a life. There is hope. With hope, you can cope. Don't give up hope, or oh, one day you will succeed. Succeed. Don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. 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 Lucas. Yes, that's my name. I have told you not to dare ask me for money again. And why the hell are you calling me at odd hours? Huh? Why are you calling me? I didn't say you did a joke, man. I thought you were joking with that. What nonsense joke are you talking about? Listen up, we have to put an end to this deal now. ASAP. I'm really talking like that. Like, I don't understand. So you think I'd be fool? You just look me, Lucas. You can't just have a Jew. Eh? Listen to me. You think you can just put me away? After the help I gave to you, to make you and Kelvin, to be more serious. You just want to push me away. No, no, you know the happen now. No, no, I don't pass that level. You don't fit one to me. Don't try that in at all. Excuse me, please, you're making noise. I don't understand where you're coming from. What are you trying to say? I need money. Listen. You know I'm not working again. Ever since I left the house, I don't have access to cash. I don't have access to money. I need money now. What do I need with that? Are you and I know that Sandra is pregnant? I need money to take care of her pregnancy. See me see Wahala. Excuse you the hell out of me. How is that my responsibility? Now tell me, how is that my responsibility? That she get belly? How is that my business? That she is pregnant, how does that concern me? When you were doing it with her, did you consult me? 
No, did, did, did you? You won't provoke me now. You see this pathway you enter, eh? Now the pathway you want, you won't touch that thing where they control my brain. When I consult you, when I was doing what I did with Sandra with you, did you consult Kelvin? No, did you tell Kelvin we are having something? Eh? Now see you. Now you carry your mouth. Go tell organ nursing. Say Sandra get the for me. Now you go run a pata. Eh? Now when you don't run a pata now, even Sandra know the help issue. Sandra should remove the pregnancy. You go to give me ten commandments. That shall not remove pregnancy. Who they wrote that thing, huh? Now me when I won't burn the cable. When I won't scatter my data. You know they happen. Don't try me, oh. Dad gave you both a reasonable amount so you can live your lives very well. How does this affect me? For all I know, I did well in my own part of the bargain. I kept my own part of the bargain. What bargain are you talking about? What bargain are you talking about? The bargain was that you gave me 200,000. But what did you do? You couldn't spread the money anyhow now. And today you go collect, uh, Lucas, come and collect 1,000. You're like, come and collect 10,000. I could not use that money for any reasonable purpose. You scattered the whole money. And you are here, ranting at me. Don't make me verse, so. Don't make me verse. So tell me, how much do you want now? <laughs> you see this part where you talk so? Now the English, when I want to hear that. Now this English, that end dictionary. How much do you want? Now sweet English. Now you listen to the Coco. I want you to be my ATM machine. My own ATM machine. Nah, I'm a go break and come down, not carry swear. Whenever I run out of cash, anytime when I want money, I go call you, you go wire me. Now wait till I want you to do be that. Are you mad? No, you the Chris. Bump there your head. Oh, because I didn't follow you speak English. You the Chris? Eh? Guy, you the mad? In fact, you a born bastard. Or do you think I'm a bank account? You can deposit money and take money and are you are you okay? You know what? No, you know what? You can go to hell and burn to ashes. Do what you want to do. Are you serious? Yes. Not like you serious now? Yes, do what you want to do. That means my mouth go away like that now. Kevin, go here with the apple between me and you. Go ahead. Go ahead. That is if you if you believe you anyways. Go ahead. I'll talk to Mama. Understand? Get out of my car. I should get out. Get out. I should get out. Get out. You say something to me. I get out. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. You go here now. I said get out. I'll play for your eyes. Get out. I go play for you. Idiot. Look at you, thief, you thief. Idiot. Do you not actually went for a job interview this morning? Okay. And guess what, baby? No. You got the I job! I got the job! I knew it! Uh, congrats! Thank congratulations! You. One more thing I'm presuming. Super. Wow! Yes! I knew you could do it! Now you see your BS is in the waist, yeah? Not at all, though. <laughs> Not congratulations! We need to celebrate this. Of Let course. me just get my we keys and... Easy! We will celebrate. What about hope? Uh... Hope he's still at work. Uh, he will be staying there more often. Okay. Yes. That's all right. Mm. I did actually heard about Uche's arrest. Hmm. What happened? My dear, he got what he deserved. Do you know that Uche was the mastermind behind everything that happened with O? Are you serious? Not only that, do you know that on several occasions Uche vowed to my face that he would not be in this same neighborhood and watch another man take me from him like he's my husband or boyfriend or father i don't even understand but that's not it i had this 
punch that something was fishy. Mm. So I decided to take up the case. I cunningly and deceptively right. tricked him into answering some questions. And guess what? He opened up and spilled the beans. Like he said everything. Not just that. Hmm? Guess what? Even things I knew nothing about came to light. <laughs> and thank God, though. Thank God you no longer associate yourself with oh, him. Come on, trust me, darling. I can't be part of such an association. I did everything I could to make which is reasons with me and why he should stop those things he did. Before. Your time, he turned his back at me and he was calling me all sorts of names. Which he, which of all people feel? Okay, even at that, please, I just want to plead on his behalf. You people shouldn't allow him to be there for too long. What has that got to do with me? Please, oh, that, that one belongs to Hope. Please tell Hope not oh, come to. Come on now, you can still do something about this thing. I'm not saying he should be released now, don't get me wrong. By the time they eventually release him, at least he would have spent some time himself and then at the same time learned his lesson. That thing will learn any lesson at all. You he never won't. can tell. You never can tell. Oh, look, I'm tired. I need to get back to the house, mm. take some rest, mm. freshen up, you deserve get it. something to eat. You deserve and it. And then, you know, you know how it is, baby. <laughs> Congratulations. Honestly. Now you see your degree wasn't a waste. Not at all. Oh. I cannot appreciate you and hope enough you know, for everything you did for me. That's okay. Honestly, especially you. You were there for me when I needed you at all costs. And at the same time, you did actually counsel me why I should go get a BSc degree, which I did. <laughs> you know what? I'm truly, truly happy for you. And Thank you. I'm proud of what Thank you're you. becoming. Oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> it's all right. Hope Wow, I got you. I'm truly happy oh, for you. Oh, you look good, girl. Yeah, this is cute boy, you yeah, know. <laughs> wow. Hey, Bill. Hey. Hey, Yeah, I, I, I was very happy for the outcome, as a matter of fact. Yes. You know, uh, I, I, I was afraid initially because I thought uh, they were not going to consider my proposal, being that it, is, uh, or it was uh, submitted late. But having gone through it, they now found me worthy to be given the contract because they said everything was well detailed. I can do the job. You don't want to trust anybody. Um, uh, of course, my, my proposal was very detailed and um, well explained. So they have no choice than to, to give it to me. My daughter, who, who prepared the proposal for me, in fact, it did take her up to four hours. You know me now, I'm very busy. I wouldn't have had time to do such a detailed work. You know? Yes. <laughs> All right then. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Uh, yeah. That I can see you're very happy. Yeah. I am very happy and it's all thanks to you. No. You are supposed to be thanking Hope. He helped me out with the proposal. He was the one who did everything. You mean Hope actually wrote that? Yes. Wow. This is very serious. I have a whole bundle of uh, talented people around me. This calls for celebration. <laughs> huh? So I should get your wine? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Your favorite. Exactly. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Daddy, I have to take small quantity because it's my brain cannot carry alcohol. <laughs> cheers to cheers. a wonderful proposal mm -hmm. and cheers to Hope mm -hmm. who made it a success. And to us too. <laughs> cheers. Mm, to me partially. Mm. <laughs> you stayed so long in Friday's place. That has nothing here. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Why? Um, he wanted to tell you the good news that he got the contract. The one who approached the proposal. Okay, good for him. Maybe you congratulate him tomorrow morning when he's leaving for work. It's really not necessary. Why? Look, all that cares is himself. He doesn't care about me, so... Why would I care about him getting a contract or not? Kevin, you, you know that's not true. That's true. But you know, Dad wants you to work for him. He wants you to work in the company. That's the problem. I don't want to work in the company. I want to have my own business. I've said that to him severally, but he gives me excuse. The latest excuse right now is that I have to wait till mom comes back. Like I'm a child. Like I need confirmation from mom before he helps me to start a business. Kevin, you will be a boss in the nearest future. You know that. Well, I don't want to be answerable to any boss. I want to be my own boss, my own business, doing my own thing. But Dad wants you to work in the company so you know the things that happens in the company. Then maybe when Dad resigns, you will be the boss. You know that's the you know that's the truth. Oh no, maybe because I'm not his biological son. That's not true. That's true. If it's not true, then he should he should sponsor me in the business I want to do. It's very simple. Why make any excuses? Fine. Dad is going to give you the money you need to start up your own business. But first and foremost, you need to calm down. And erase such thoughts from your mind. Please. Until then. If don't bring the document to my office, let me have a look at them. Huh? Okay. Oh, sir. A piece said uh, you have arrested those behind your disappearance. Uh, yes, sir. That was since yesterday. Wow. That's, that's interesting. Uh, they should be made to pay for what they did. Exactly. Yes. Um, this mark on your face. Uh, okay, my bed mark. Oh, Beth Mark. Yeah. Who is your mother? My mother's name is a very late daughter of Ikenobi. And um, you said you don't really know much about your father. No, sir, I don't. But all I know is that his name is Nelson. Yes, Nelson Ibuque. Hmm. A very daughter of um, you know my father's name is Nelson and he's your namesake mm. but whenever I raise the topic mm. my mother feels emotional about it and yeah, but I'm here to gather myself so I can go and make my findings to look for him because I really want to see him face to face a better Doctor of Ikenau. That name sounds familiar. You, you mean Eberi or Ikenau? Oh, never mind. Uh, let's talk about it when I'm less busy. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so I hope you're okay. I hope everything is good. Well, okay, no problem. Yeah, I'll see you later. <sighs> Do have a nice day. Thank you. This life must balance you. One day now, one day 
I got my oh! name Who will know who is who oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Life go balance I hope there's no problem of course you're not deaf, you're supposed to hear me call your name. These are my clothes. I want you to wash them. Very clean. And when I mean clean, sparkling clean. Now, I do not want you to make use of the washing machine. I don't like my clothes being washed with machines, okay? Am I clear? Are we clear? Huh? Oh! Mercy. It seems you you love creating sin. No. It's actually part of my hobby. Oh, I thought that's not. Of course. What? Why is the dining so messy? Why are there dishes in the on the dining room? What was going on? What is it? Wait, 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 you respect my baby, my sweetheart, my prince charming, to do the dishes for you, or you expect me to clean for you? As what? Don't you know your job in this house? You are so lazy, lazy man. See, I'm not saying that I will, I will not wash or clean whatever, uh -huh. but you bringing them to the table that I've already cleaned uh -huh. isn't proper. Because I know this is not Kevin's handwork. Mm. It's not only improper, it's proper fraction. Let me tell you something. If you want answers, why don't you go and ask the dishes themselves? Go and ask the dishes! Mr. Hope alone, oh, Chai. What? Baby, please, uh, do you have any dirty clothes? Because I want to give my dirty clothes to Hope. No, I, I don't. All my clothes are clean. But why, though? You, you did that yesterday. Babe, he didn't wash my clothes. Instead, he went out with peace and they came back really late. Really? Yes. Me. Yeah, Lucas. What's up? Yeah, I'm okay. Hi, Sandra. Um, yeah. One is fine. Doris? Oh yeah, she's fine. She, she's here with me. Why? Okay. Okay then. I'll, I'll see you then. I'll see you much later. But I hope there's no problem. Okay, all right. Then. Okay, bye. <clears throat> that was Lucas? Oh, yes. Said he wanted us to see you. Know, he's got a private discussion. He wouldn't want to spill his <coughs> both of us. A, pri a private discussion? I mean, he could have just said, said it on the phone. Why, why, why doesn't he want to see you? He doesn't I have to see you. I don't know. He insisted. And something. Happened a few days ago. Sandra called me and said he wanted us to have a confidential discussion. Which I, I said the same thing. Can we talk about it on the phone? She said no. So I don't know. 
Um, did they give you a clue or something? No. All he said was a secret. We need, we need to talk about it. But it's not big. I'll see them. Maybe tomorrow. So. Private. I mean, what is so private that he wants to see? He can just tell you whatever it is on the phone. Why? Why does he want to see you? you don't have it. He doesn't have to see you. Exactly. And something happened a few days ago. Sandra called me and said he wanted us to see that it's a confidential discussion, which I, you know, suggested we we'll talk about it on the phone. But she said no. It has to be private. And Lucas is saying the same thing. I don't know. Did, did they give you a clue or something? Not at all. Not at all. Good day, um, Doris. Good day, Sandra. How are you? I'm fine. You asked mm. me to meet you up here. I hope there's no problem. <sighs> there is something I need you to tell me. I want to verify something from you. I, I just need you. You're the only person I know that can do this for me. What is that? I don't know why I feel like you know something about me and you're keeping it. I don't understand what you're saying. Like, why would I keep something that I know about you to myself? What would I gain by doing that? You should be the one answering that question, Sandra. <sighs> there is, I'm confused right now. I don't even know what you're talking about. You know something? <sighs> See, I don't know who told you this, that I know something about you that I don't want to tell you. I think the best thing is for you to go and meet up the person that told you that I know something about you that I'm keeping to myself. Tell the person to come to me, confront me in your presence because I think you should tell the person to come to me and confront me in your presence. Because to be honest, I am confused right now. I don't know what you're talking about, honestly. I have no clue or idea about this. Sandra, you can go. Thank you. Madam Doris, leave Mr. Hope alone. Chai. What did Mr. Hope do to you? That you hate him so much, yo. Dislike him so much, yo. Madam Doris, pick up. Rabu, Mr. Hopo. Come on, Mary Tobiko. Hey. Every day, na Mr. Hope. Every night, na Mr. Hope. You accuse him falsely. You lie against Mr. Hope. Madam Doris. Why succeed or oh, succeed and she is a god in my hello lucas please where are you how do you mean your location is not my business please where are you i want to know i want to come there and... hello hello he hung up the phone on me but you must try, try to stand tall, so that you don't oh fall. Kelvin, Kelvin. So that you don't okay. fall. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Hope is a good thing to have when. Hello, Kelvin. Where are you? No, 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 nothing. I just wanted to know. Um. What you were up to and where you where you are. Oh, oh, okay, that's good. How did your meeting with um Lucas go? Okay, um what about Sandra? Did he say she said anything? Okay. He never told you anything. Uh, maybe like a clue or something. I mean, something to 
you know, uh, put you through uh, what was going on. That, that nothing much. No! Sweetie, I'm, I'm, I'm just bothered, you know. I know these things will be disturbing you, so I just wanted to, you know, check up on you. Nothing much. Alright, no problems. Alright, see you soon. I thought you said you don't like literature. I do. I used to be the best student in literature when I was in secondary school. Really? Mm -hmm. So who is your favorite author? Chino Achebe. Same! <laughs> so what's your favorite Chino Achebe quotes? Among the evil, the act of conversation is regarded highly. And the proverbs are palm oil with which words are eaten. Hmm. Interesting. And what's yours? The world has no end. What is good among one people is considered an abomination with others. <laughs> you do not know me, said Tatis. I'm a changed man. I've, I've learned, learned that, that a man, man who makes, makes trouble, trouble for others, others makes trouble, trouble for himself. <laughs> the world is like a max dancing. If, if you, you want, want to see, see it well, well you, you do not stand in one place. place. <laughs> Until the lions have their own historians completed. And the history of the hunts will always glorify the hunters. Bravo! <laughs> um. <laughs> the greatest threat to freedom is the absence of criticism. That's not Chino Chibi's quote. That's Wola Soinka. I know. There is something really horrific for any human being who feels he is being consumed by other people. With the way you're treating Doris. Must you always disgrace her in front of your friends? You were not there when it all started, so why are you blaming me? I saw when you pushed her to the ground. And she was trying to stop me from separating the girls. And immediately she just pushed me, I fell on the floor. I stood up, I pushed her down. She fell too, and we started fighting. Did you accord me that respect to call me at least? Call you? By then, someone must have gotten injured, right? But no one got injured, right? I don't know why I'm having these conversations with you. Because I know at the end of the day, you will never see any reason with me. Never. My friend is waiting for me. Let me go and see her. You're the only one that have a girlfriend. It's so only you that have a girlfriend. You're working at boyfriend. Oh, it will only lie ya dimma. Hope is a good thing to have when there is life. There is hope. With hope, you can cope. Don't give up hope, one day you will succeed. Succeed. Don't give up hope, one day you will succeed. Succeed, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Succeed or succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Life is full of ups and downs. Today you are up, tomorrow you could be down. Trials will come. Temptations will come in this life's journey. Oh, some people will walk against you. They want to see you fall, to see your downfall. But you must try, try to stand tall so that you don't fall. Oh, 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 o
Hope is a good thing to have when there is a life. There is hope. With hope you can cope. Don't give up hope, or one day you will succeed. Succeed. Don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. 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 Echi ihe gadima. Succeed. Oh, succeed. Echi ihe gadima. Uwanka o. Uwadiego. Some people will single you out to push you out of a good position into a bad condition. They will always wrongly accuse you, insult you, and maltreat you. But you must try, try to stand tall so that you don't fall. Where is Antonia? I just saw her off. Yes, Doris and her friend. She left also. I think Doris is taking her home. I just hope they don't attack her on her way out. Uh, no. Immediately we were coming out, we saw a cap that dropped someone by the next building. So they had to take the cap. Do Doris and her friend, they are just so troublesome. No, please, you have to calm down, okay? If that comes out now, he might not like you in this mood. I don't know, like that girl is a bag of trouble. Ah! Excuse me, sir. Who is looking for who to default? Hello? What? To stay. In the hospital? Huh? Is he going? He's fake aware, aware of that. I am so sorry. I didn't know that my phone was ringing. I'm so sorry. You know, there was an issue here, so I, 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 didn't, I didn't take notice of that. Okay, please send me the address of the hospital, please. I'll be on my way. What is it this time? Fitz's father is in the hospital. Yes, please, if Dad asks of me, please tell him that I got an urgent call. But I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Please. What is it? You're looking really tense. Did you not see any missed call on your phone? I did. Yours and Dad's. Then why didn't you call back? Because I already know what Dad wanted to tell me. So I didn't feel the need Dad to Dad did call. not call you. He did. Look at it. He actually did. He did. Listen. I know where you are driving at. I am not ready to accept Mr. Madi as my father, so please, okay? Another person used his phone to call you. Yes, I'm here to tell you that your father had an accident. I was rushed to the hospital, okay? And his chance of survival is 50-50. I didn't mean fit to come and tell you because you're the daughter. I mean, he's not my father anyway. I'm just trying to help. I lost a mother. I can't afford to lose a father. No, it's all I have left. No. Yeah. What hospital? What hospital is it? Wait. Oh. No. No. So how did it go? Who it was in that serious? 
Yeah, the impact of the accident wasn't serious at all. This man has been walking around without blood in him. I'm telling you, it was through the doctor's examination that we noticed that this man has shortage of blood and he has been walking around with it freely. And he was not above it? I mean, it's, it's possible. It's possible that he's not having that chance or time to go and check himself at the hospital. But thank God it happened, so we know what is wrong with him. Hmm. This is indeed a miracle. So how is he now? Yeah, we donated blood for him. By the time we left, he was getting himself. Oh, thank God. I am happy everything went successfully. Yeah. So how is Faith? She's with him in the hospital. Are you okay? Uh, yes, my eyes are turning me. I think yeah, maybe it was because of the blood I donated. Are you serious? Yeah. You didn't eat before you donated the blood? Doctor said we should eat before doing that, but I wasn't I wasn't having an appetite to eat anything. I mm. said let me do it maybe after when I come back home I eat. But I changed my mind. Really? And uh, Please wait to, you know, just let me take it to your room. I'm going to make smut and make for you first before I make food for you. How will you do such a thing? Tell me that, no? I have told that that I will not be able to join him in his business. It's very simple. I don't want to work for him. I want to start up my own business. All I need is capital. Exactly, I've told him. Mom, I have told that long time ago. But he kept giving me excuses of me being patient till you come back. And I'm wondering. Exactly. Exactly. Why, why wait till you come back? He's no longer funny, Mom. I know why he's doing this. He's doing this because I am not his biological son. That's the only reason. Are you forcing me to work for you? I have what I want to do. I don't want to work for you. It's very simple. Okay. I, I don't I don't really know how you want to do it, Mom. If you want to talk to him, that's fine. But that's what he said. Yes. It's okay, Mom. If if you want to talk to him, I just hope he listens. How is he? How is he doing now? Oh, thank God. Thank God it's getting better. Why are you sounding so emotional? What's it? Oh no, now Faith, stop this. Stop this, eh? Why are you blaming yourself for this? It's not your fault. At least we should be happy now that he's recovering. Yes! You don't need to bother yourself over nothing. Please, please, take it easy on yourself, okay? Just know that you're not alone in this. Yeah, I hope. 
He's asleep now. When he came back, he was not feeling too well. But I've taken care of that now. Faith, don't worry, I'll tell him. See, Hope sees you like his sister. So you don't have to worry. You're welcome. Yeah. You can only count on me, no problem. Just take care of yourself, okay? It's a good thing to have when there is life, there is hope. With hope, you can call. Don't give up hope, one day you'll succeed. Succeed. Don't give up hope, one day you'll succeed. Succeed, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Succeed, oh, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Life is full of ups and downs Today you are up Tomorrow you could be down Trials will come Temptations will come Thank you, Peace. You are awake? Yes, I'm awake. So how are you feeling? I hope you are better. Yes, I'm strong now. Thank you so much. Please. Why are you thanking me? I'm thanking you for everything. <laughs> well, I spoke to Faith earlier and she asked me to help her thank you. She said that you played a great role in donating blood to her father and um, you really helped her in the hospital. So she's grateful. So on behalf of Faith, I say thank you. <laughs> You guys are just funny. You know, our father is my responsibility. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what? Do you have a girlfriend? A girlfriend? No, no, I don't. You know, I don't need anything to interfere in my life right now. I'm just an ordinary man for now. Oh, okay. Um. What if at, at the end you find out that I'm your brother? What do you What's that? <laughs> it's okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, anything. Do you have any idea if your father had a wife before he met your mom? Oh, how did you know? I guess for your mom to just live in abroad without minding you people here. Oh. I, I'm just thinking. Well, my mom loves traveling. So I grew up to know that my mom loves traveling. Okay. So it's one of her hobbies. But this time around, she's staying long because her younger sister just gave birth. So that's why she's staying back. Oh. If not, she'll be back by now. She doesn't stay more than one month. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. <laughs> and for the facts that you asked, well, to tell you the truth, yes, my dad was once married. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, it's just that most times he doesn't like talking about it. Why? I don't know. Maybe because it gives him sad memories. But... I don't really know much about the woman because my dad said she died during labor. Oh, and what of the child? I don't know. Whenever I try to ask my dad about it, he feels emotional. So I don't like it. So most times I just don't talk about it. Oh, well, that's the information. He didn't tell us nothing more, nothing less. He just told us that she died. I see. Wow. Um, so, I need to answer this call. Okay. Private. Okay. Hello, Justine, Justine. How are you? We live in a world where the head becomes the tail in all balance. Hey. 
We live in the world where the tail becomes the head. Life in no balance, yo. We are the good ones, our prayers do. And the bad ones appear to be blessed, do. Life in no balance, Oh, yeah, stop. Should I get your breakfast, sir? Oh, no. Oh, I'm on the program, have you forgotten? Oh, that's true, I forgot. Yes. Have you heard from Faith this morning in regards to her father's uh, condition? Oh yes, she said that he's better than yesterday. Ah, uh, okay, that's very good. Uh, but try to pay her a visit this morning. You know you are the closest person she has now. I'll do that, sir. Immediately I'm done with my work here. Hope is a good thing to have when there is a life, there is hope. With hope. You can go. You will succeed. Hey, baby. Have this one. Have it. Hmm? I'll be coming from time to time to check on you and the baby. Hey! This money is too much, man. Eh? Just use it to take care of the baby and to take care of yourself. Okay? Thank you so much, Uncle Nelson. I really appreciate it. Baba, what is it? Hmm? I think it's so. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's okay. Baba said thank you. This bet mark makes him look very handsome. That's how I saw it. I should be on my way to work now. I'm already late. Okay, so see you later. Huh? You can call. Don't give up hope, or oh, one day you will succeed. Succeed. Don't give up hope, one day you will succeed. Succeed, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Succeed, oh succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Oh. Hope is a good thing to have when there is a life, there is hope. With hope, you can go. You will succeed. Don't give up hope for oh, one In day. Life, you will succeed. You will succeed. succeed. Don't oh, give up hope. Oh, oh, one day you will succeed. Succeed, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Succeed, succeed. Echi ihe You not believe and yet to see Lucas. I'm telling you. He keeps giving me a series of excuses. Then he shouldn't have called me in the first place. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I just have to meet Sandra up. And I know what all of this is, is, is all about. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I would do. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll see some of them. All right, bye. Hey, why are you discussing about Lucas? Yeah. That guy is just so annoying. <sighs> Baby, if I were you, I, I would not bother about seeing him. I mean, that guy is just taking you for granted. Of course, I won't even call him again. Yes, to hell with him. I support you. In fact, to hell with Sandra as well. No, I must find out. Um, I must find out what this is all about. I have to speak to Sandra since uh, Lucas is not forthcoming. Baby, why are you so keen on seeing these people? Like you committed a crime or something. Or is that something you're hiding from me? Hey, why would you say that? If I'm hiding anything from you, why would I get you involved in the first place? Okay, I'm sorry. I just don't like the way they're playing you around. That's all. Well, I don't think anybody's playing anyone here. I think maybe he traveled. He doesn't know how to tell me. So that is why I have to miss Sandra. Baby, I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry for saying that. I'm so sorry. 
But I, I just don't like the way they are playing you around. Well, I don't really know what's going on, but nobody's playing anyone around here. I think maybe he traveled and doesn't know how to, you know, tell me he's not in town. At least, we're friends. Why? Babe, I don't, know. don't, don't, don't bother calling him, okay? And, or Sandra, all right? It's okay, I won't. Yeah, don't. See, you have to give me a good reason how that money takes finish. Uh, yes. I can clear you reason how money takes finish. As my mother now, you don't turn wife overnight. How that thing to be your business? It is my business. Ah. It is my business. Because Oga gave us that money to start a living. As you can see, I am pregnant for you. Our child is coming. So you have to use that money and start business. I want to do something. So give me the money. Ah! Make a boss your small head now. Hmm? That money don't finish. Yes, now. Money don't finish. Are you joking? Sure? You don't finish now. Wait, just tell me you are joking right now. How can you squander such huge amount of money in just six months? Fear God. Give me, give me my own share of the money. Let me go and do business. Uh -uh, don't do that. I don't even know why this time they even listen to you. I don't know. Because I don't invest a day like this. Everything invest me. See, my thing. That money, eh? I use that money to rent house. I call you. Furnish the house, make a standard to my own taste too, not be your own taste. I can't use the rest to do business. I invest them for business. You the feeling? Hey. Hmm. You don't speak your grammar, finish. I don't want to know what you are saying. Better give me the share of the money. Give me my share of the money. Let me go and do business. See, you go calm down. You understand? You see this thing you carry? I don't tell you me you remove this thing. You not agree. I don't tell you tell me you remove this thing, you not agree. Thank God, that your nonsense sister I don't come carry you. Me when I go that side, I go do when I gossip. I don't move. Oh. Where, 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 where you go? Eh? Come on, give me my money. Come on, give me my money. <laughs> They enter your eye, Enter your eye, Richard. No, sir. Yeah, dim ma. Hope is a good thing to have. When there is life, there is hope. With hope, you can cope. Don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. Succeed. You don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. Succeed. Succeed, echi ihe gadema. Succeed, oh succeed, echi ihe gadema. Life is full of ups and downs. Today you are up, tomorrow you could be it? down. Trials will come, temptations will come. come in. in this life's journey, oh. oh. Some people. Will walk against you. They want to see you fall, to see your downfall. But you must try, try oh, to stand tall. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm actually coming from the hospital. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. I'm sorry, I didn't call to tell you I was coming home. I was actually doing that when you came. So I'm sorry. It's okay. I am happy that you've forgiven your father. He's fine. He's very, very fine. I mean, you need to see the joy in him. As I talk to you right now, he's so proud of you. As his daughter. Yes. You know, he's so rejuvenated by your acceptance. And on behalf of him, I am saying thank you. <laughs> what? No. Um, um, I'm sorry. 
I I I guess I, I got carried away by how you, you you've shown me love all those wife from the first day we met. It's okay, it's okay. I it's okay, but please don't try that next time, okay? But what if I if I say I'm in love with you? <laughs> this is the funniest joke I've ever had this year. Well, this is not a joke. It might sound crazy and weird that a woman is telling a man how she feels about him. But the fact remains that I'm in love with you. I want you to stop this and change topic, okay? Let's talk something else. What else would you want me to say? Do you expect me to lie about my feelings? When did you start nursing all this in your heart? Ever since the day my father came here and you played the role of a big brother by reconciling us, you know, you also acted the way a genuine lover would. And that really got to me because as it stands, you're the only one that knows me. This is not the time for this, please. Oh. I, did, did you lie to me when you said you didn't have a girlfriend? I thought I knew that. Why is it so difficult for you to understand I'm in love with you? Faith. It's hard for me now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's my fault for falling in love with someone whose interest is in another woman. You know, that's a lie. I had a conversation with Peace yesterday. And she told me how she likes your kind of person how you every woman's dream <sighs> i'm a woman and i know when a woman is in love or not <laughs> what <sighs> do you have a girlfriend <sighs> Girlfriend, no, no, I don't. You know, I don't need anything to interfere in my life right now. I'm just an ordinary man for now. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Yes, are you going out? Yes, I was yes. actually going to get some things. Oh, okay. Um, do you mind? I want you to join me. No, I have to prepare dinner before that comes back. Hey, that was told me now. You know we have a lot of varieties in the food, so if that comes back, you will make his choice of food and we might call it for you. So let's go. Uh, uh, food. Okay. Stop behaving as if they are treating you in this house. We just have to be fast about that too. You know, I really have to prepare dinner. No problem. If not then. Let's take a selfie. Okay. Madam Doris, leave Mr. Hope alone. Chai. What did Mr. Hope do to you that you hate him so much, yo? Dislike him so much, yo? Madam Doris, pick up. Rabu, Mr. Hope. Come on, Mary, to we go. Hey. Every day, now, Mr. Hope. Every night, now, Mr. Hope. Lucas, I am talking to you. You're not answering me. And what exactly do you want me to say? What do you want me to talk? Eh? Do you think I would be so foolish to tell Sandra what transpired between us? No, now, I'm not going to do that thing now. You know, she has a licking mouth. The whole world go here. Eh? And besides, if I tell her, she's not going to be in love with me. She won't love me till now. Then what did she tell Kelvin that made him so furious? 
Zigbe go. So now question. Did you ask him and he refused to tell you? Yes, I did. Okay. And I mean, he gets furious and he yells when, as if he doesn't want me to know anything. <laughs> I'm missing a while with that now. And I now, we get on boss. Okay, you know, see, I will try asking her, then get back to you. Whatever the case may be, I will get back to you. How you shaken? You better do. And when you talk to me, you bring it down, okay? Sure, no problem. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't shake me and you leave me. Mr. Hope, you accuse him falsely. You lie against Mr. Hope. Madam Doris, why now? It's just a matter of time. Everything will come out in the open. He didn't tell me you'd be taking me out. Well, I just wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Hope. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to take you out. Uh, you're not the boss now. Yeah? Whatever you request, I will do. I can never turn you down. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because do you know how much you've defended me in this house? Yeah? I will never do anything to hurt you. Oh, please forget about that. Um, <laughs> I just want to ask you a question. Okay. Have you ever professed your love to someone you know, someone who never expected such a thing from you. Were you scared? How did you feel? Did you feel they were going to turn you down? Uh, yeah, I would just, if someone I love, I would just hug the person and uh, peace. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? If you're planning for us to be lovers, it won't work. Look, Hope, I've been nursing these feelings for days now. Um, I've, I've really been finding it hard to talk to you about it. But I just had to have the courage this night. Please, 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 you just have to stop saying this. Okay? You have to stop it. You're like my sister. But I'm not your sister. We are friends and friends can be lovers. Okay, what if you are my sister? I mean my blood sister. Thank God I am not your sister. Oh, don't tell me you were scared of my father or my brother. <sighs> what is going on here? Please, you know what? Let's just end this discussion, okay? And maybe some other time... No, 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 no. Let's just end it. Let's, uh... As I am now, my head is hot, so I need to go in and cool off my head because if I don't, by tomorrow morning I might crash, okay? I, I need to go and rest. Anyway, thank you for this. Oh! You're my sister, for God's sake. Come on. Who is your sister? Not your sister. Well, at least I said my mind. I'm relieved now. I think I'm kind of ashamed of myself. No, I'm not. Hello? I've been trying to call you. You're not taking your calls. What happened? What? He did what? He tried to stop you from scolding your sister? What is, what is wrong with that housekeeper? Oh, you slapped him. Very, very good. I am glad you slapped him. Even if you would have done worse. It's fine, don't worry, save it. I'm, I'm coming to the house. I'll meet you up very soon, okay? Just relax, I'm coming. What nonsense. Rubbish. Can you imagine? But one day now, one day, this life must balance you. One day now, one day, I got money wounded. Who will know who is who? Hey, life.
Eco Balance es Latino Balance. Es Latino Balance. Hello, peace. I've been trying to reach out to you since. If I say I'm fine, I'll be lying to myself. I just needed someone to tell me what to do because I don't know what to do. I just feel like to kill myself. This is not about phone discussion. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Kelvin, there you go again. What makes you think that that guy is a gold digger? Because we have succeeded in winning her heart and of course my father's as well. Kevin, your father that I know is a very smart man, bro. I believe you must have been studying this guy ever since this guy started working for you guys in your house. Study what? My father is barely around. So what is there to study? It seems you don't trust this guy. I don't. That guy is up for a mission. I can feel it. And I will not be alive to let him succeed. Never. Then, wisely keep your eyes on him. Bomba to bomba. Of course I'm on it. <laughs> That's good. I know you're smart as your dad as well. So, um, tell me, how far with um, Sandra? You know, ever since you haven't given me any details about it. Kevin, you have to take it easy, alright? Anyways, you have to take it easy on yourself, okay? Let's go then. Some people will walk against you. They want to see you fall, to see your downfall. But you must try, try to stand tall so that you don't fall. Oh, Oh, it will lie out in my hope is a good thing to have when there is a life, there is hope. With hope, you can cope. Don't give up hope, or oh, one day you will succeed. Succeed, don't give up hope, one day you will succeed. Succeed, succeed, Echi Ihe Gadima. Succeed, oh, succeed, Echi Ihe Gadima. Uwanka, oh, Uadiego. Some people will single you out to push. Is there anything about the family? Yeah. Yes, Daddy, but I don't wish to get mad. What have you done now? Nothing. Promise me you won't get upset with me. Hmm. If you've not done anything wrong, why would I be upset with you? Just promise me you won't be upset with me. Look, my friend, go ahead and say what you have to do and stop behaving like your mother. Daddy? Yes. Is it right or wrong to be in love with the right person? Even you yourself, you know the answer to that question. Mm? So who are you in love with this guy? Who's the lucky man? Ah, I know you are you are scared because of uh, your ex, huh? But you know that that, that guy didn't deserve you. Hmm? Any young man that lost you because of your father's words and not because of who you are is not worth having you. Because when the truth are done, he will turn his back on you. Mm, I know, Daddy. I know you did that to protect me from getting hurt and to protect the family's name. Mm -hmm. 
Да. Что, ты мне? Ты с тобой. Конечно. Дад. А мне любит хоп. Tell me you are joking. I'm not joking, Dad. It's the truth. So is that why you insisted I give him a job? No, no, no. That's not true, Dad. I found out about my feelings a few days ago. So I had no choice than to tell him. Oh, you are even the one that professed love to him? I did not profess love to him. I just told him I love him. I thought my brother would be wise when it comes to issues concerning love. And uh, uh, this is why I don't like male house house. Eh? Look at it. Lucas came here and succeeded in making Sandra pregnant under my roof. Now it is your turn. You and Hope. No, that, that's not true. Even when I told him, he did not even say anything. What do you expect him to say? Under normal circumstances, a man should go to a woman and, you know, woo her. But in your own case, the reverse is the issue. Eh? You want to tell him you love him. What do you expect him to say? It's better he, he says nothing. But clear this table. I've lost my appetite. Yeah. No, Daddy. No, no, Daddy, but you promised me that you were not going to be upset. Eh, but not on issue like this. Huh? Take I am not eating again. Daddy, oh. apple, your favorite. I am sorry. I didn't bother to know you are aware about all these years. I know you are very angry with me. I have disappointed you in many ways. And also to know how you are feeling. I'm fine. As you can see, I'm coping well. I'm doing all right without your assistance. Now that you've seen me with your eyes, that I'm doing okay, I'm doing well, I am sound and healthy, you can leave. What? Yes. Just like that? Yes. Just like that. You know, seeing you brings back memories of how my mother passed, of how you were not there for me all these years you abandoned me when i was just 16. you sent me away to go live with an with an aunt who never cared about me but herself i know i've made a mistake but i'm here to rectify all my errors please please what the time I needed you the most, you were not there. Now I am matured to take care of my responsibilities by myself, just like I've been doing. So I don't need you right now. You can go, mister. Please, leave. It's too late. It is not too late, Faith. I am your blood, a repented father who is pleading before his daughter for forgiveness. Please. You listen to me. Last time I checked, I do not have a father. <laughs> Even if I did, that was before my mom passed. Uh, 
I understand, but you just have to let go. I saw a sincere repentance in that man's eyes this morning. Pure repentance. I mean, he's regretting all he did. You just had to find a place in your heart to forgive him because you can't continue living like this. If you will be sincere to yourself, you will know that you will still miss him as your father. I do. But. Okay. At some point, he was good to us. But when that witch came into his life, everything changed. She separated me from my father. It's never too late, my dear. It's never too late. Remember you used to tell me that I should always forget about the past, drop the bitterness and face the future. Now you're not practicing what you're preaching to me. But what if I if I say I'm in love with you? <laughs> this is the funniest joke I've ever had this year. Well, this is not a joke. It might sound crazy and weird that a woman is telling a man how she feels about him. But the fact remains that I'm in love with you. I want you to stop this and change topic, okay? Let's talk something else. What else would you want me to say? Do you expect me to lie about my feelings? When did you start noticing all this in your heart? Ever since the day my father came here and you played the role of a big brother by reconciling us, you know, you also acted the way a genuine lover would. And that really got to me because as it stands, you're the only one that knows me. My dad asked me to write a proposal for him and he wants me to submit it immediately. So I need your help. Why don't you get Kelvin to do that? Why me? Well, on my way back home, I went to see Faith and we had a long discussion. In that discussion, we discussed about you. <laughs> and guess what? She told me good things about you. She was really emphasizing on how smart and intelligent you are. Um, that notwithstanding, I've actually noticed that in this house that you are very intelligent and smart. So that's why I want you to help me out. Please leave my brother out of this. So are you going to help me? It's okay. Go ahead and supply me with the details. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. You know what, let me just get my laptop so I can show you. Don't go anywhere. I thought you said you don't like literature. I do. I used to be the best student in literature when I was in secondary school. Really? Mm -hmm. So who is your favorite author? Chino Achebe. See? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So, what's your favorite Chino Chibi's quote? Among the evil, the act of conversation is to get it highly. And the proverbs are palm oil with which words are eaten. Hmm. Interesting. And what's yours? The world has no end. What is good among one people is considered an abomination with others. <laughs> you do not know me, say doctors. I'm a changed man. I've, I've learned, learned that, that a man, man who makes, makes trouble, trouble for others makes trouble for himself. <laughs> I just want to ask you a question. Okay. Have you ever professed your love to someone, you know, someone who never expected such a thing from you? Were you scared? How did you feel? Did you feel they were going to turn you down? Yeah, I would just, if someone I love, I would just hug the person and uh, peace. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? If you're planning for us to be lovers, it won't work. Look, Hope, I've been nursing this feelings for days now. Um, I've, I've really been finding it hard to talk to you about it. But I just had to have the courage this night. Please, 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 you just have to stop saying this. Okay? You have to stop it. You're like my sister. But I'm not your sister. We are friends and friends can be lovers. Okay, what if you are my sister? I mean my blood sister. Thank God I am not your sister. Why is Sandra doing this? What has she won from me? And if that finds out, he will be highly disappointed in me as a son. As if that is not enough. My sister is coming with her own that she's in love with that gold digger. And eventually if dad accepts it and they become couple. My plans of becoming in charge of his property will die. Everything will be taken away from me by that low class boy. What will I do now? Maybe I should tell dad about peace secret. That I hope is a boyfriend. Yes. Mother. Mother knows here this as well. She's the only one who can fight in my favor. What? Mom just called. Hello, Mom. Greetings to you. Yes, yes, we're fine. I was just about to call you now before you called. 
I think we're shocked to see you call me too. Oh, maybe she's sleeping. That must be the reason for that. How many times did you try calling? Oh, maybe she's sleeping. Now. I will deliver your message first thing in the morning. Okay. Yeah, so mom, the reason I wanted to call you here, yeah? around here, so many things are just not going on well. And I cannot be here to allow such thing happen. Okay, though I'm trying my best to see how I can curtail it, but my sister is not having it. It's about this boy, this guy here, our cook, Hope. That boy has bewitched my sister. I don't know how. No, but what I'm trying to say is he's probably using fetish on my sister. He's gone fetish because I don't see the reason my sister fell in love out of all the men in this world is that boy yes they're in love i don't, I don't know it's technically fetish that's what i'm saying same 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 way mom i'm, I'm shocked to hear that Exactly what I'm trying to tell him, but she is not seeing it from that angle. He's just a gold digger. Okay, mom. I trust you. Okay. All right, bye. Good night. Yeah. Let's see how that will play out. Yeah, believe me, when I say it's over 10 years since we spoke. The last time we saw face to face and um, we spoke, he was very angry with me because I told him bluntly to go back and resolve issues with his family. Ever since then, I've been trying to get his new number without success. So if you have his new contact, just send it to me. I will appreciate it. Okay. All right, please do that. I will appreciate it. Thank you. All right, send me word to your family. Good. All right, good night. Dad, you're still awake. Yes. Well, why are you not sleeping, Dad? I can't sleep, I'm just worried. Worry. Well, if it is uh, over what you told me about uh, being in love with Hope, my answer is no. But it's not about it. So, what then? Daddy, it's about Kevin, my brother. Kevin is worried. He feels you don't love him because he's not your biological son. And he doesn't know how to express it. He feels you care only about yourself and me. Uh, but even you, you know that that is not true. I know that. But I know, I know that's not true. Yeah. So, He's not my biological son, but that doesn't mean I don't love him or I don't mean work for him. You understand? The last time I, for a couple of times, I sent him to go and supervise, you know, projects for me. What did he do? He failed me. I even asked him to come and work alongside me in the office. He's not interested. So what do I do? What should I force him? Have you asked him what he wants to do? Yeah, we. We discussed about it. We discussed the whole thing. 
He said he wants to start running his own business. Oh, that's beautiful. That's fine. Um, Daddy, why don't you give him money to start up his own business? At least that will give him a sense of belonging. He will stop asking you for money. He will start using his own money when he starts his business. Well, I don't trust him to manage his own business. But Dad, uh, just give him the benefit of that. Right there. You see, I said we discussed about it and um, he said he, he has some connection with some fashion houses in Dubai and uh, he wants to deal with them directly and uh, he'll be... Do you know how much he said he needed? 150 million. What? Shut it too. That's too much. I promise to give him 80 million naira. First, I'll give him 50 to start with. Then, if I see the way the business progresses, I can now give him you know, another installment of 30 million, making 80. But uh, he's not happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not saying 20 minutes. Okay. So, well, that's enough for, for Kevin. Let us find another part. I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to come see you ever since you told me about your dad. It's okay. I know your new job won't have allowed you to. My dear, very stressful and breathtaking. Um, so how is it fair now? Well, he's doing okay. I was actually on my way to the hospital to give him some food okay. and to also spend some time with him. Does it mean you won't be going to the office today? No. Um, the thing is, I took excuse from my boss oh. right from that day it yeah, happened. Yeah. Yes, when I heard about his condition. Okay. And he gave me two weeks off. Oh, that's so thoughtful of him. <laughs> I was getting set to go to the office. And then I deemed it fit first to come see you. Just oh. to find out about your dad's situation. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> it's that's okay. Right. Let's just go together. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. One day now, one day. This life must balance you. One day now, one day. I got Monday, one day. We will know who is who. Hey. Life go balance. This life in no balance, yo. This life in no balance, oh. This life in no balance, yo. Where are you coming from? I want to go and see Lucas again. You went to see him? What for? If I may ask. To get my own share of the money. I want to use that money for something. I'm going to give birth very soon and I need to start business. I can't be depending on you all the time, Auntie. I thought I told you to forget about her mom. Yet, you refuse to listen to me. Huh? Is it not obvious that guy is playing you around? And you are so daft to understand that. If you would take my advice, I suggest you forget about that money before you give yourself heart attack. Auntie, I should do what? Forget the money. Auntie, I will not forget about that money. Lucas must give me my own share of that money. That money was given for us to use for something important in our lives. So he cannot just take the money on him. It's not possible. He must give me my own share. Sandra, you have to decide now where you are going to stay. Either here with me or with him. Me that brought you out from his place. You think I'm, I'm a fool? And he has not gotten to that now. Huh? I didn't mean it like that. I just need money to, 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 to start business. I am tired. I'm tired of asking you for small, small money. I oh. know. But you should consider your condition. Don't go and kill yourself because of one money or whatever I don't even understand. Life in no balance, you in no balance. But one day now, one day, 
this life must balance you One day now, one day I got Monday, one day We will know who is who Hey Life go balance This life in no balance yo 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 It's coming from your room. I thought you were going to walk. No. no. I had a meeting somewhere in town. I thought it'd be fun to go to work. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Just want to have a quick discussion with you. There's some things going on in this house that I feel we should be aware of. Okay. It's about my sister. I noticed um I noticed some funny moves between my sister and, and Hope. And that didn't really go down well with me. So I had to approach her, you know, what is really going on between them. And she confessed to me that they are in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in love, how? So that means this has been going on for, for how long? She said for, for some time now. So I tried talking her out of that, but she proved stubborn. So I said to let you know, maybe you can, not even maybe, you have to talk to her. I believe she will listen to you because that is really, really uncalled for. Yeah. I must say I am I'm aware of it. Really? Yes. She told me yesterday, but um, believe me, I am going to handle it. Mm. Okay, Dad, you, you better do because you know it, it's not it's not nice. Mm. You should have been. Don't worry, I'm handling it. So you mean she didn't tell you anything? I did not tell me anything, no. Sandra not tell me anything. She did not tell me anything. She said uh, they didn't discuss anything. I would try to convince her to tell me everything. She did not tell me anything. She said if I'm not believing her, we can go meet uh, Kelvin to confirm whether she did lie or not. You may have never known her. That's Sandra of yours. She's a hard nut to crack. But something tells me that she told Kelvin something. Mm -hmm. See, look, I'll tell you something. Man. Sandra and I want kind of person with a keep things to herself. Mm, I tell you now, not the light open up. You understand? She they like keep things to herself. Most especially if that thing now between me and her. Matter what concern me and her. So are you trying to say At that? At that point, she not go agree talk. What she told Kelvin is related to you and her. The reason I'm more, I tell you. What was that? No, say, she did feel say, I know they take care of her. She know, she feel say, I not love her again. That kind of thing, you understand? They feel say, me with another day again. So I believe in other kinds of risk and matter. But that's wrong. That's totally wrong. <sighs> she did like keep to herself. That babe not give me chance. She gotta do her own things. Keep it things to herself. She don't want to talk to me. She don't want to relate with me. Eh? See, make I clear you. Do you know that since we left Oga House, this girl have not one day come to my crib. I did tell you now. I never see her. She never called my crib since that time when I come up for the house. As they invite me to come up for the house, I never see her. So where does she stay? One of her sister like that. The sister is still uptown. They run bar. Now they did get there. I hope this is not what I am thinking it is. <laughs> Based on who I be, I street when I be. I know what you they think, but not be that one. See, if it is what you are thinking, huh? Ah, your guy for don't drive you come off for us now. Kevin for don't send you packing. 
Right. So forget that one, not be that one where you talk. You're right, though. Mm. I have to stop going, okay? I'll see you later. I understand. Hold on, don't just come on like that. Huh? I need to wreck you. On Jack Bali, I want you to do something very urgent. You need a dent on the key. See we your fit, mouth. We feed you like that. We thief. Ah. We be thief. Thief. We no shake mm. mm. Yes. Well, I told you. Remember, I told you that mm. I will not give you a dime, mm. not even a peso. Mm. I will not give you anything. You know one thing why I like you. You supposed to speak English well. Eh? One nera, mm. one peso. Mm. Listen. Mm. I remember telling you then uh -huh. that you are now my ETA machine. Okay. So did you continue? Get out of my car. That one I hear you just speak so. Get that with you. And then the last way, give me money, give me a drug key. Why they do like this? Alright, go with me where I'm going to. Oh yeah, nah, I'm more welcome. Anyway, you go, you go. All I right. need a drug key. Alright, close stop. Hello, Mr. Kenny. You go give me that money. You just have a job. Do they visit you? Sure. Uh -huh, Joris, see, 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 calm down, not the run your mouth. Now me decide to come out for that car. You know understand? As you drop me now, you don't zoom up now, you don't happy. Then make I tell you, your secrets, they my pound. If I don't see my alert, if I don't see my money, my mouth go wrong. Okay? I will walk straight to Kevin. I will take Kevin everything that happened. I go clear him. Me, eh? Me, Lucas. I'll be born for your neck. You know if he cough me out. And now, uh, they tell you now, me and you, uh, for this time, we go see him. I go do you that thing, eh? Whether they do tortoise. No sense. Uh, I don't tell you finish now. You go, I go see my alerts. You go must give me my money. Madam, me again. What is it now? If you know the mood I'm in, you will not talk. Who cares about your mood? You almost removed my arm. Instead of you to say sorry and you're telling me about your mood, who cares? I should say sorry to you as what? Are you the Queen of England? Hey. Huh? <laughs> if I'm the Queen of England, I can see a demon has possessed you. Oh. As assistant, I do not have time for rubbish. You are a serpent. Thank you very much. You are a witch. Thank you, Mrs. Demon. Useless Enter, Queen of England. You are just a useless person. Uh, yes, I am useless. You, you that is complete. Please, Please get, get out. out. Stay out. Get in, Queen of England. Get in. Get in, Queen of England. Get in. And buy the restaurant if you wish. Rub it. Don't tell me this is true. Please, I swear. I am not lying. Why didn't you say anything to anyone all this while? Because I was scared. I was afraid that I'm going to cause a problem between a father and a son. And secondly, even if I say it, who will believe me? I would have believed you. You would have confided in me. I'm sorry. I never thought of that. That was why I called you. Because I could not confide in anyone else except you. Thank you for confiding in me. And I promise you, your doubts and fears will be erased. Thank you so much. Peace. Do you think I'm lying? No, I can't see the truth in your eyes. Madam Doris Pico, Rabu Mr. Hopo, Kongo Melito Wiko. Come back here, come back here. No. I see your puppy. Of course, or what? dog. Now let me, let me sound this very clear to you. You better go warn that girlfriend or whatever she is called to you, whatever she is to you, I do not care. You better tell her to know her limits. I am not in any way her class. She should know her class. If she is mad, that's her business. And stop. If she is mad, you take her to the psychiatric hospital. And stop shouting at me. I'm not the one who got you angry. Huh? Okay. I'm you. Who are you talking about? I am talking about the girl I saw you with at the ATM. You better warn her. 
one part. And, and mind the way you talk to me. Yes, because I'm not the one who got you angry. Why are you ranting like in Ketala? Oh! Eh? And, and the person you're referring to is Faith and he's, she's not mad. Oh! Oh! What was I expected? Of course, I, I knew you were going to support her. Birds of the same feather, they flock together. Well, let her know her limits. Because the next time she tries that nonsense, I am going to knock her down. Foolish people! What were you ranting like in Ketala? It's yours! Eh? Foolish family! Star Bok and Ketala! Woo 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 Granted, not even, not even a, a good species. Shine for that matter. <laughs> Mad dog. Ah, uh, the hell of noise here. Shine! It's yours. Stupid girl. Hello, Fiji, what's up? There was an issue. Oh, of course I am. Is it not hope sister being a girlfriend or whatever? I don't care whatever they have. Can you imagine? I came back and she didn't bring insults on me. As if that was not enough. As if that was not enough. I was trying to explain to uh, the houseboy what happened. And he was he was busy defending her. Can you imagine? You get to have seen the way he was talking to me, like he was mocking me. He was indirectly mocking me. My dear, that was my problem. Ah, oh, she did very lucky. Ah, she did very lucky. And as for that uh, houseboy, that hole, I will make him hopeless in the city. He will run back to the village. He doesn't know me. I have told him that this is war. This is war. I will deal with it. Ah, that guy don't know me. He don't know me. Make him just wait at the call. Make him wait. No, 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 Don't tell me to let him be. I will not give up, give up on this issue. I will not give up on this issue. I will see it to the end. It must get to an end though. It must get to an end. I am just waiting for Kelvin's mother to come. I have called and explained to her and she, she, she defended me. She's in support, full support of me. I'm just waiting for her to come. Nkechi, now you the talk this talk. Nkechi, which one is the what if you lose? Which kind of nonsense talk is that? Do I look like a loser to you? Oh, there is no losing here. Now me go win. I must win this thing. You don't understand. I must win this. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, please, please. I don't need this negative energy, please. I don't need this negative vibe. I beg, I'll talk to you later. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. What kind of nonsense is this? Eh? What kind of nonsense is this? I called you for you to give me moral support. They give me nonsense vibe. I beg, I beg. You said get out. Nonsense. Look, there is no way I will collect 80 million naira from you. 100 million naira or nothing. I have assigned what I'm using the money for. You can't just tell me to accept it like that. Please, let's not push this. Let, let me call you back. I, I'm getting a call, okay? Yeah, Lucas. What's up? If I'm not picking your call, it means I've been busy. Um, please, uh, we'll talk later. <coughs> so, sorry I came back late. They were looking for change to give to me. Can I have it? Okay. No, the item. No, sir, the change is for you, not for me.
satisfied you can go keep the change. Okay, thank you. Um, Hope, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for the hitting you the other day, okay? Because um, you don't let that get to you. Sorry. It's okay, I understand the reason for your reaction. Anyone in that position will do the same. But it's okay. Sorry. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. Thank you, Dad. I I just I just got the alert now. Yes, give me. Hundred million. Yes. You see um, the hundred million there. Hmm? I am not going to add one more penny to it. No, I promised you hundred million. Yes, sir. And there you have it. Eh? I have done my part as your father, so it's now left for you to prove a point. Use it for your business. It's not for you to squander. You understand? Treat your customers right with respect. Don't be arrogant, and you will turn over the business in no time. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. There is hope. With hope you can cope. Don't give up hope or one day you will succeed. Succeed. Don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. 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 Get me the credit book. I got money. Please come. Ah. So what gets you? What is it? There's something I want to tell you. Go ahead. I'm listening. But I hope it's not about you. It's about... Go ahead and talk. Let it out. It's about my pregnancy. What about it? Lucas is not responsible for it. Sandra! What did I hear you say? I'm sorry, I just had to put it on him. Sandra! Then who is responsible for the pregnancy? Yeah, I feel happy. I feel good. But I was thinking on how to tell him that I want to ask for his daughter's hand in marriage. You know, because of the condition. What condition? <laughs> that one still looks sick. Eh? Did you see how energetic and cheerful he was looking? Yeah, it's because of the news. The news actually made him strong. You know? I think so too. <laughs> what? I just want to say thank you for bringing so much happiness into my life. You're truly a replica of your name. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What? <sighs> you know we had an agreement. 
I'm sorry I got carried away. Okay. How about your mom? Have you spoken with her? Remember, we still need to get her blessing. No, I have to look for my father first. Something tells me that Mr. Nelson that I've been working for and living with is my father. Seriously? You know the story I told you of a man and his housekeeper? The suspicious of the housekeeper through the behavior of the boss. Oh, uh, that the boy later found out that he is the boss's son? Yes, I am the person in the story. And Mr. Nelson is the boss. You know how to bring this story to you in a different form, so to know if we're thinking alike. Oh. But why is he hiding the truth? That is what I have to find out. Okay. My fault. Hello? Yes, Dad. We got home safe. Is there? Fine. Who? Okay, let me speak with him. Hello, sir. Yes, it's Faith. Sure, sir. Thank you so much for checking in, checking on him. Sure. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Do have a wonderful day. Bye, sir. Who was that? Ah, uh, that's friend. Oh, the one he told us that he lost contact with him for a very long time. That one exactly. Whatever you hear. A wonderful one that matter. Yes. <laughs> okay, um That's the money you saw me withdraw from the ATM. I've sent mom 30k and they wanted to have this to get some things in the house. Not until I know the source of this yeah. money. I won't touch it. Okay. My salary for three months was paid. And that is 150k. So I've sent mom some money from there. And I wanted to have this. You see? I'm not a thief. That's my salary. I didn't say you stole it. Come on. I was just asking. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. So, what is it you wanted to see me for? Sir, so, I know it's too sudden, but I'm sorry about that. I, I want to seek your permission to travel. If you don't mind. Travel? How many days do you intend to stay? Just five days, as the case may be. Five days. In that case, you... Um, you have to wait. Eh? I'm traveling tomorrow to come back the day after. So, when I come back to travel, you have to wait. Okay, sir. I'll wait. Okay. Any other thing? Yes, sir. Sir, actually, I want to thank you for paying me ahead. The money was so helpful. Yes, but you worked for it, didn't you? I know, but I'm talking about paying me ahead is something that <laughs> people don't experience every day. Well, that is correct. And uh, you are also she are still working, so <laughs> there's no problem, isn't there? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So you can go now. Okay.
And you're welcome. Thank you, Father. So, have you discussed with me? No, I've not. I, I can't face him. So, I've not done the deal. Sandra, I think it's better for you to go and see him first. Tell him about it. Auntie, it's not that easy. Uh, you refused to go there with me. I mean, I can't go there alone. I don't know how he's going to take it. I'm scared. Was I there when the both of you had an affair? It's okay. Me and my niece. I've not said I will not go with you. I will. But I want you to go there first. I'm with him and have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with him. Whatever his response is, will make me follow you. It's okay, my dear. Hmm? It's okay. Thank you. Um, Faith, I am so sorry I was not able to come and see your dad in the hospital. No, it's okay. At least you called. That's also showing concern. Thank you. So how is he now? Well, he's fine. He'll be discharged in two days. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, you know, when you called, I had to go and pick a parcel up. Mm -hmm. So immediately I was done. I started coming. Thank you for coming. Uh, I have a quick favor to ask of you. Whatever it is, if it's within my power, I'll do it. I'll be planning my marriage very soon. Whoa! Congratulations! <laughs> I'm so happy for you! <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, ever since I met you, I, I felt connected with you. It was just as if our childhood friends grew up together. So, I don't know. Um, I would like you to be my maid of honor. Me? It's an honor. It's a great privilege. It's an honor. Oh, thank, thank you so much. So I will. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought you would not agree. Why not? <laughs> I do. Thank you. Thank Whoa. you. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. Who is the lucky guy? <laughs> Have I well, hope oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. How can you say you have nothing with someone while I saw you hug them and glued up for long? Why are you finding it hard to believe? Because you're lying. Tell me, what are you planning? Now what secret are you hiding from me? Are you planning to get married to him so he can take over father's business? Like seriously? Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I am not like you that keeps secrets. Well, I don't keep any secrets, sis. You practically know all my secrets. Sandra. Now what about Sandra? You think I don't know? That you're the one responsible for her pregnancy. What nonsense are you talking about? Who doesn't know Lucas is responsible for her pregnancy? I spoke with her and she told me that you had unprotected sex with her not once, not twice, but three good times and you're here telling me You already your voice You know there is his home We, we, we can Melvin I overheard everything Nothing is hidden under the sun What? Yes, I I admit I slept with her well, that is not enough proof that I'm responsible for the pregnancy. 
Then why has she been calling you? From what I gathered, she's not staying with Lucas. She hasn't been staying with him. So obviously she knows the real father of her child. I'm just, I'm just confused about this whole thing. Of course you should be confused. I mean, I, I mean you're going to have a baby. And then you're going to leave me for that thing, that, that cook. Gosh, you disgust me. Honestly, I, I'm, 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 I'm really disappointed. And if you hadn't pushed me, I would have been pregnant, still be pregnant for you. I mean, we should have been preparing to have our baby. We should have been married. But you pushed me and I lost my child, my baby. You pushed me. Please, can you not take us back to what we've forgotten? It wasn't my intention. You know that. I have told you severally that God will give us another child. You know, I, I'm, I'm still trying to understand this. I don't know why you will sleep with someone you do not love with, without protection. And then you sleep with me with protection. Explain it to me. Paris, you're taking us back to what we have talked about. I don't like it when you do this. Can we forge ahead? She can never take your place. Sandra can never take your place. It is you I want to marry. She knows that. She can't pin me down because of pregnancy. She's not even expecting me to marry her. She just wants me to be aware that she's pregnant with my child. Okay? She's not expecting anything pregnant. It's you I love. It's you I want to settle down with. Then marry me. Marry me. Now. Huh? Have you forgiven me? Maybe. <laughs> Hello, Mama. I thought you said you would come to the village today. Yes, Mama. Something came up. Why is it that something always come up each time you said you would come to the village, eh? Mama, I will come. I will come, I will come. Are you here now? Eh? If there's something wrong with that place you are, you tell me so that I'll know how to channel my prayers, eh? Mama, everything is okay, but uh, I will this time around, I am not going to tell you when I'm coming. I want it to be a surprise. It's better than will. Don't tell me. So that my BP will not rise. Please, oh. Just try and be fine. No, you just recovered. Ah, don't worry. I'm not stressing myself. Thank God for Chiamaka who is helping me out in the house here. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I'm going to buy her a phone when coming. But don't tell her. It's going to be a surprise. I've heard you. I'll not tell her. Thanks again for that money you sent. My mom also thank me all the time I, I give you something. Ah, maybe because the money is big, oh, very big indeed. Mama, it's okay, it's okay. You'll be fine. Okay, uh, take care of yourself. And please, don't forget to call uh, Chiamaka's mother. She sent us some food stuff. Eh? Hmm? God bless that, my auntie. Oh, well, don't worry, I'll call her and I'll appreciate her. Okay, bye-bye. Um, bye. Hope is a good thing to have when there is a life. There is hope. With hope you can cope. Don't give up hope. Baby, are you sure he has not been dating her before he started working in the house? Hmm? Well, Antonia, not at all. I don't think so. Because when I made my intentions known to him, he didn't tell me that they were dating. So tell me, what does that have to do with this? A lot. He really sacrificed a lot. Especially when my father was in the hospital. I was told 
that she and her father has not been in talking terms for almost eight years now. Do you know that hope reconciled them? So, ha! Even the man will even tell hope, oh, yeah, come and marry my daughter. <laughs> well, well, I think I agree with you. Just that you don't need to be mad at him. Because if you, uh, if you were to be in his shoes, you would make the same choice he made. Hello? Daddy? Hi, good afternoon, sir. No? Um, yeah, he said he cancelled the trip, that he has something to do. Okay. Yes, he's no longer traveling. Dad, what do you mean? You're traveling? How? When? You didn't tell me, though. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Safe trip. Bye. I'm so sorry, it's Antonia. She insisted that she wants to take me out. I was actually waiting for you to come back before I go. Go? Yeah. Go where? Go home. I'll be traveling tomorrow. Is my dad away? No. Though I... I told him that I'll be traveling. We spoke on the phone before my phone fell into water. So he asked me to wait for him. He will turn in the next four days. So I should wait. That's true, you're right. You're right. So I have to go see my mom. Just stay only one day and come back. You know, I really need to go see her. I always promise her that I'll be coming to see her. At the end, I will fail to go. Is she aware you're coming? Yes, to go tomorrow. Oh, sorry. You, you actually need to go since she's expecting you. Um, don't worry about my dad. You don't need to wait for him. I'll cover up for you. If he asks after you, I'll tell him that he went home. No, don't tell him that. Just tell him that I've gone to see my mother and I'll return the next day. Is my brother Kevin away? No, but I actually told him that I'll be going home. Safe journey. And my regards to your mom, even if she doesn't know me. She will hear. Let me prepare my things. This life no balance. This life no balance. This life no balance. This life no balance. Once with the hair, no gets the gap. Once with the gap, no gets the head. This life no balance. This life no balance. How could you have known that your father has a house in the city? Ah, I didn't even know that he has that much properties, if he didn't say it. Ha, ah, that man. Surprised. Your father is really doing well in his business. Yeah, he is. Mm. You know, he decided to be driving that small car. So, eyes will be off him. <laughs> you can't say that again. <laughs> Ah, well, let's not forget. What time are you leaving tomorrow? Oh, uh, immediately 6 a.m. I'm off to the park. Hmm. I'll miss you. But when you get back from your trip, um, I think we should just, I should just ask my dad to tell me how to locate my brother. I really need to meet with him. 
At least, let him witness the marriage of his only sister. Yeah. We will. We will both find him. Oh, thank you. Thanks for always, always supporting me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Hello, Sandy. So, how was your nephew with you? You accepted the pregnancy. That's good. That's that's a good news. Well, I called to find out if he's trying to run away from his responsibilities. So I can cut to inside that and felt him one on one. And he accepted to marry you. That is good be you. I'm not supposed to be here in my room. Huh? Okay, yeah. Just heading up and come. Hmm? I'm going to the shop already. Okay, Danny's. Okay. See you then. Hello, bro. Thanks all for asking all my prayer. I'm sorry, I didn't. Who gets the capo? The ones with the capo. Who gets the head? This life ain't no balance here. This life ain't. Hello, Mama. Mama, where are you? I went to the house and it's locked. I didn't see anybody there. Mama, what of Chiamaka? She's not around. Mama, are you? Where, where are you? Where are you? What? Mama, wait. You just prepare, wear clothes, and went to the park to start coming to the city without telling me. How can you do such a thing now? Mama, you should have told me that you're coming. Oh. Mama, I am not around. I am not around. Yes, I will be out too. I'm coming back tomorrow morning. It's okay. It's okay. Start coming. When you get there, just wait for me. Just wait for me. In no balance, this life in no balance, oh. In no balance, oh. If I tell you I'm not disappointed, I will be lying to you. The reason that I have come to accept as my daughter-in-law already could go to this level. It's a shame. It's a disgrace to the Nelson family. But let me say this now. On no account should she step her foot to this compound. I'm sorry, Dad. Please. I'm ashamed of myself. Yes. But you taught me that in life one is one is prone to make mistakes. What what counts is how we make corrections towards that, which I'm ready. I'm ready to take up that responsibility to do the needful. Okay? Please put the blame on me and not on Sandra. I am ready to do what is supposed to be done. I cannot leave to watch another man fathering my child. No. So for that reason, Father, I am going to marry Sandra. All I need is your blessings. Will you have my blessings? I support you. Thank you, Father. Come inside. Come inside. Who's there? Oh, welcome back. Thank you. This one, your face is like this. Hope nothing bad happened in the village. 
afraid I go up to the village only for me to realize that my mother has traveled to the city. I don't understand. I am telling you that right now that my mother is in the city. She told me that she has a place she's putting up. That immediately I enter the town, I should call her so she would direct me. Well, I guess since you promised severally to go visit her and you never show up. So she decided to take the bull by the horn to come see you. At least this time you won't escape. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Tell me, have you called her? I am confused right now. Okay, I think you should just call her to know where she is. Uh, no, I don't want to call her now. I want to say so let me come back to the house and uh, discuss this with you. Then know what to do. Okay, I actually just came back from the house. The one that told us about. Yeah, um, he gave me the keys to the house to go get some money from the safe. What for? Uh, he'll be discharged today. So I was thinking, when we go to the hospital, you know, to discharge my dad, on our way back, you can then call your mom and we'll go see her. I think I should call her now before we leave to the hospital. Okay, um, you do that. Let me just get you something to eat while you go. Wait, I am not hungry. I don't have any appetite to take anything. Let me call her first. Hello, Mom. Yes, I'm back. Where are you so I can come and meet you? What? You... Okay, okay. No problem. I am coming. I'm coming. What did she say? Can you imagine where she says she is? Where? In Mr. Nelson's house. My boss. <laughs> Wait a minute. That means your thoughts were correct all along. This is African magic. Uh, Mr. Nelson is your father. I think we should go there first before going to the hospital. Yes, yes, we should. Let me just drop this, change up and... Okay, okay. Yes. Oh, I'll come back to Sharko. What's going on here? Dad, what are you doing here? I, I thought you sent me on an errand. Yes, my daughter. But we lost contact many years ago. He managed to get to me through a friend he called. And he came straight to the hospital. You remember that my friend you spoke comfort with two days ago. Oh, the same one that came after I'd left the hospital. Oh, okay. He's the one. Good day, sir. Mm-hmm. And mom? What are you doing here? Mr. Nelson here came to the village to see me. And he brought me here. I thought as much. <laughs> My doubt is now clear. You know, the way this man used to look into my face. And the time he asked of my mother and my father. You know, whenever he wants to talk to me, he... Okay, this actually really cleared my doubts now that this man sitting down here is my father oh my god well um you see i am sorry that uh, i did not tell you before i went to see your mother but just like you i wanted to also clear my doubt before i tell you the truth what's the truth again apart from the one i've already known uh, no, um, you don't know the truth. The truth is that I am not your father. 
Mr. Nelson Amadi Ibe is your father, just as he's also the father of faith. So she is your sibling, and both of you are of the same parents. Hope is a good thing to have when there is a life. There is hope. With hope, you can cope. Don't give up hope, or oh, one day you will succeed. Succeed. Don't give up hope, one day you will succeed. Succeed, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Succeed, oh, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Believe me when I say I've let go my bitterness towards Amadi. I would not like my stubbornness to interfere with this reunion. I, I am very, very happy for this reconciliation. It is going to be a fresh start for two of you. You know, second chance for you to make it work. Hmm? The last time you visited, Hope was five. You told me that you will no longer visit me as usual because of your wife and because I stood my ground that I was not going back to Amadi. I know you meant well for me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <sighs> Today I'm relieved. Thank you so much. A very nice sweet wife. For giving me a second chance. Thank you so much. To my friend and my brother Nelson. You know many thanks will not be enough for me to share appreciation for what you have done for me. Hmm? Even when I change my line and my location. Just to cut you off because of your too many pressure. You never give up on me and my family. My friend, I owe you a lot. Thank you so much. Well, uh, we owe ourselves a lot. <laughs> Peace. Hope told me everything about you. You've always been a good person and ever since I met you, I'm thankful to you for staying true to yourself. He also told me he has feelings for you. Yes, and that's the truth. <laughs> and I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways. I'll leave you guys so you, you can talk while I go get a drink, okay? Uh, peace. You see, this, this engagement ring is supposed to be a surprise to fate. But I just realized that it's not meant for it. This ring is meant for you. Please, do not say no. Will you marry me? Ooh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. Hope is a good thing to have when there is life. There is hope. With hope, you can cope. Don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. Don't give up hope. One day you will succeed. Succeed, succeed. Echi ihe gadema. Succeed, oh succeed. Echi ihe gadema.
Life is full of ups and downs. Today you are up, tomorrow you could be down. Trials will come, temptations will come in this life's journey. Oh, some people will walk against you. They want to see you fall, to see your downfall. But you must try, try to stand tall so that you don't fall. Oh, oh, oh. Hope is a good thing to have when there is a life. There is hope. With hope, you can cope. Don't give up hope, or oh, one day you will succeed. Succeed. Don't give up hope, one day you will succeed. Succeed. Who goes there? Who goes there? You're surprised, huh? Get with you, the surprise mafia. I'm a mafia and I'm not going to surprise me. But what did they do for my village? How did they trace me? That I traced you right into your house in the village. Mm hmm. Why did they happen now? Who give you address? You know, you really underestimate me. I see they control you now. <laughs> Forget that they village. I mean, they do the buckle. Uh... I'm a big boy. You don't have to do me anything. You don't understand? Okay. Yeah, nah. Watch me squash the shit. This baby is serious. I'm sorry. Listen, let's settle this house. Okay? You still be my person. will come in this life's journey oh some people will walk against you they want to see you fall to see your downfall but you must try try to stand tall so that you don't fall oh Good thing to have when there is a 